Right, I think this is working. I'm sure YouTube in some form or another will tell me that I am working. I think everything seems fine. Mic's coming through. Okay. Mic's coming through. Yep, I can hear myself. That's a good sign. All right, I think we are here then. Howdy all. Welcome to this highly unplanned stream. Hopefully you're well, enjoying your Labor Day weekend, all that lovely good stuff. Uh, we got a game already livered up here. We're just going to delve into immediately. I'll add some preamble stuff to talk about. We'll, we'll get onto it as and as and where we go. Also, this camera feels like it's way, way not right. What has happened here? Yes, yeah, so hopefully, kids, uh, you are all fairly well. And yeah, get those of you stateside enjoying your Labor Day weekends and doing something significantly more productive than this. So, um, yeah, this wasn't planned stream at all. Uh, this evening was meant to be the finals of the Salt Throne Tournament, believe it or not. But unfortunately, at the last minute, the game got called off. Uh, so they're going to rearrange, which means I don't have anything else to do this evening. And some of you folks will know. Uh, that uh, I was on Orsi stream uh, last night. He did a stream of doing Imperium, and of course, in as it per tradition, uh, we were not successful in winning. But I got the idea of him thinking that he needs to just get some games in in order to, um, you know, in order to just kind of get in the match rate. It's something that I do struggle with is like find the time to get games in, and obviously we've got the Imperium Cup coming pretty soon. So, uh, yeah, basically. We're going to kind of rock and roll with that. So we're here to play some games. We're going to see how we go. They may go well. They might not go well. Uh, folks that were here yesterday, or not yesterday, or whatever the day it was in the last stream, um, will know that, um, yeah, we... I'm just going to shuffle players here. We'll try to shuffle players. Um, yeah, we played three games the last stream. First one, I think we played all right. I think we played pretty well, actually. We just didn't get an opening to win. Uh, the third game, never got. we just never got started. Uh, it was only the second game where I felt like we, 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 we had a decent start, but I kind of got a bit exotic, a bit greedy, and it went about as badly as it could have done, which is the way it goes sometimes. Uh, I sometimes am prepared to try and min-max things, um, and... You know, sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't work. And that was a situation where it doesn't work. Or it didn't work, so what are you going to do? So we're not going to be playing anything too serious, I don't think, tonight. Just kind of getting match time in here. See where we go. Okay, then. So, we're in yellow. We're in the fourth position. We got whole 12 leaders to pick from, kids, which is quite a lot actually when you think about it i'm curious to see what other people are gonna pick here anyways so, so we've got our row here stitch horror and beguiling i don't think i'm ever gonna see either of those i might see beguiling if i'm interested uh it's a very very impressive imperium row which of course sucks because I'm fourth we hardly make use out of that uh techs are bad but again like mm, this is not a great position to be in Two leaders missing is Baron Hawk. <laughs> That's insane! There's only two leaders missing, and we're missing Baron and Tezia. That's nuts! Wow, that is fascinating. Um, hmm. I feel like I probably got a good beast. It's th there's so many card drawers here. It feels insane to take Paul and Fort Fear. Beast has got a bit of a niche, so I think we're gonna rock with Beast here. Beast and Fort is never bad. How does that happen? Only two leaders? Missing, and it's Baron and Tezia. That's nuts. Cheers, David. Or is it David? I'm, I'm never too sure. I see the little thing. I'm not never too sure. I I, I try to make a, a note of not um, getting people's names wrong. It's a, it's a pet peeve of mine. So. Reminder, of course, uh, we have announced... Not Dave. I don't, I'm not calling you Dave. Don't worry about that. 
Rhomba to our left. Okay, it is going to be like this. Uh, so, your readily scheduled reminder that, of course, uh, we have announced the Imperium Cup 2023 a few days ago. Signups are, of course, open. And uh, feel free to check the details. I've now posted at the TTS Club. Uh, Orski's also allowed me to post it on his server somewhere. We'll see. And we'll rock and roll from there, basically. Uh, but yeah, so you're on. if you've not checked it out, you should do. Um, I am looking to make it the biggest online tournament there's ever been for this game. Um, and that's... It's an ambitious target, don't get me wrong. But uh, that's what I want to do. Okay, well, Elaser is not going to be able to get hold of a Fold Space card because she will not have the money to get it. So she won't be able to claim the Fold Space. I do think getting fold spaces in this game, I think it's a little more important um, for a laser. I think then Rise of X, I don't think it really mattered. But I think in Immortality, I, I would rather have it because the way gra there's grafting stuff available. And fold spaces are great for that. That's why Blank Slate's a card. Anyway, so opening conflict is Skirmish. We've got five persuasion total. Hmm. I mean, I was just saying about Fold Space cards, wasn't I? I guess I'm obligated to grab the Fold Space card, right? Why is there no outlines on cards? It's kind of weird. I don't know if it's just me. I'm not getting outlines on anything. I don't know if that's been disabled or is this a glitch or something. As I hover over them, it's a bit weird. Like, I've never seen this before. It's a bit strange. Yeah, I, I'm just not getting it. It would do for you. You're the host. So, I think it's it's a thing. Hopefully, it'll improve. It's it's fine. You can play it. It's playable. It's just... I've just... Nah, it's fine. I, I've just never seen... I've never been in a game where I hover over something and I've got no outline. It's a bit jarring. <laughs> Uh, it's it's it says that you're still loading, which is impossible because you're host. Just carry on. It's it's fine. Just there might be a misclick somewhere or another. So Romba gearing up for his spice, just bombing all of that. Laser's gonna grab some cash, and we've got an interesting spot here now. Obviously, they don't know if I've got my ring. They don't know that I don't have my ring, but they might. But it's very easy to believe that I have my ring because you never know. This is the great. This is the thing with playing Beast and Fourth, and you go faction first. Is they have no idea what you've got. Poor Drainies has to go Carfag here, and I think he's gonna dump a load of dudes in. And I think we're just gonna. We have an interesting choice. We could just reveal here. If he goes in hard. Gunfopter's there. Guild Administrator's there. There's some good cards. I think we just reveal and we grab one of these. The question is, what do we grab? Fopter is really juicy. Guild, Admi Guild Ambassador is also very strong for us, given the fact that we have got the um, early fold space bumps. I think we're obliged to take Guild Ambassador here. And threaten that. And I think we will. Um, and much like we've done in previous games as well, we're not obliged to get involved with actually taking it for the alliance. We had it in a pool game once, uh, where, like, I took Guild Ambassador, but just kept using it for the spice. And that adds up after a long time. You know, you think you send that to Mentat and take two spice, it's pretty good value. Two, two Slyro for two spice and a card draw. It's alright. Bro got hit. Which I'm okay with. Takes out Fopter, which isn't bad. A laser finds negotiate. I have to bear that in mind. 
And uh, this is a good result for us, actually. Um, no water for anyone. Just a loose spice for Romba and a laser as well. That's not good for her. So I'm okay with this. Poor Trades goes for the faction access there. For the, um, the card draw. Obviously, he's got to get activated. So he's obviously threatening to cut off our shipping. Which is not unreasonable. But we will be able to brute force it with Guild Ambassador here. They now know that I do have my ring, obviously. Carfag's up next. Any of you guys been up to anything interesting for Labor Day weekend? I'm guessing if you were, you probably would be. <laughs> Power plays in the row, which is a little bit uncomfortable. Obviously, uh, we are going to have to get to Fold Space... If we're going to get access to shipping, we probably have to hit it with um, whatever. Uh, no, I did not have my specimen. Thank you. Yeah, Uprising should be good. I tell you what, I'm, I'm looking for not just to Uprising. Mm, so he's going for Quizats. He's going for Stitched. Uh, I think we just hit the row. Like I'm not getting any of this. I'm going for probably Mentat. So we're just going to rip that and call it a day. Um, do we get wealth? Steel suit opens up great flat for us. We need to conspire activities. Hmm. Interesting spot. I kind of want to go Mentat. But I'm pretty sure a laser's got her dagger down. So she's going to go ahead and take position here. Still suits Carfag? Still suits Imperial Basin is also just fine. I think still suits is too important here. And I will put in... Don't need to put in any. Just put in the ones. Fine. I feel like she's... Um, I feel like she's got a dagger down. Like, I want to go wealth to hit Mentat. But I feel like she's got a dagger down a lot here. Romba also sometimes cuts off wealth to her as well. Uh, cuts off wealth of... Well, whatever. So she had recon. I think she goes uh, Mentat. Or she might go Basin as well. Smuggling's still there. That's good for us. So Rumba has no water. Poor Drady's has got to go Secret. So it's between me and Rumba here. I've got a dagger. Rumba's got a dagger, I think. He has no water, though, so I can just go Carfag here and just put in two, I think, and he's, he's, there's nothing he can do about it. That's a good card. There's no need to cheat the troop. Don't need to. So we are good for Carfag here, unless poor Atreides does something strange. He has no money though, so I don't see how he's going to do that. I couldn't let poor Atreides get Quizats round two. It's completely ridiculous. So we will get Carfag round two, which is nice. This will be a bit of passive slurry generation, which helps being in fourth seat. A laser's going to absolutely bomb the uh, Spacing Guild. Poor Drainies has been, like, hate-bombed twice, by the way, which is kind of funny. He's found his money. He might have uh, Double Cross. He's got seven. There's a lot of good cards there. Voice, Stilgar. He's looking at, at Jessica of Arrakis, which is not a common pick. He's thinking Jessica Arrakis of a memory. I think I would just go Voice. <laughs> No, he is. Okay, so he's just see basically see anything as card draw, he's just gonna take. 
So we will do that. Nothing to buy. Uh, we will grab voice though. Voice is always good. I imagine he's at three. Oh, he's at four. Oh, we have both daggers. Wow. Okay. Good thing I didn't cheat the troop then. Made the right choice. All right. Nothing to be done here. Take Carfag. Take it very cheaply too. Romba's ready to grab shuttle fleet. I think that's his intentions. I'm sure that's what we'll see. If I find voice, I probably block shuttle fleet. I feel like I've got to slow him down here. We do not draw it. We draw very weird, interestingly. Wow, guild bank raid is combat as well, by the way. I might go Grey Fat Higher Line. Poor Trades makes the block, which is good for us. We got a couple of choices. We can go Basin Conspire. Fold Space is also just open to us. It's hard to turn down. Hmm. A lot of spice to give up. I think I've got Guild Ambassador. Like it's it. I can't give up Fold Space here, can I? I don't think so. Do I use the Fold Space card, or do I save it for? I mean, we're going Fold Space, Fold Space, right? Oh, Ryan, right. is there anything that I don't want to see? What else did I buy? It's fine. Fall space, fall space looks fine. Yeah, I'm not unhappy to see it. Give back raid is not an outrageous one to get involved. The problem is, is that we are going to die on some action economy here, probably. Which is unfortunate. Also, bear in mind, a laser is going to be arming up for... She is going to be using shifting on this alliance and just absolutely bombing it. I'll take the cash, though. That actually kind of helps. There's no need to mentor anything here, right? All just reveals from Mahayim. So, all right. So we know that Elven Memory is going to be coming with that. So we know there's going to be a lot of card draw nonsense ahead of us. So we've got to be prepared for that. Obviously, it's going to take him. He has to set it up, though. So we might want to keep a little water in us here. I mean, you can just click the, the, the arrow. There is an arrow that you can just click back on it. So, yeah. So click, click the back. Yeah. Just click the back arrow. There's a red arrow here. Just click that. It's tough here. I mean, going in pure basin is also just fine. Paul's, re Paul's revealed as well. I can go in pure basin, put in two troops. That's a lot of spice and slow. I don't have to ship right now. It's not that important. Am I interested in like, a natural reflex as a beguiling? Quite possibly. Yeah, I think I think we also hold some water down. I think we do this. I think there's too many resources to give up here. It's a little too juicy.
Yeah, and I figured also Eliza's going to feel like she's got to put in more troops as well. So... Well, they need to go back forward on the top track then. No, I understand what you've done. Uh, so that gives us five and the dagger. I feel like Sherm Delegate's too important because we know we're going to be cut off and we're going to be in a fight for Spacing Guild. I do want Steelgar though. Steelgar's a great card. Chorum also gives us some protection against unloading from Paul Atreides specifically as well. So I think Chorum Delegate's too, too strong here. It has a lot of uses. And then we take Initiate? Let's test Humanity better here. I think Faction Access is fine. But yeah, so Chorum Delegate can be used for infiltration and it can also be used to unload if we don't need it. So... That's the plan here. We're it has multiple multiple effects here, is the idea. Now, we are going to have to wait a little bit for Swordmaster, but it's fine. We're in no rush. Yeah, the Emperor Bump's pretty useful. And the great thing is, like, I, I, like, if anyone goes to Carfe, I, I get to wait. So that kind of makes things a bit funky for folks as well. So, you know, yeah, I just didn't feel like taking our natural really helps us a lot here. I don't think, um, I don't think beguiling is that useful for us right now. I need to try and keep my deck a little small. A laser did find it immediately, so this is actual Brucey bonus for here. So we get some extra money out of this. That's obviously that. We know a laser's going to absolutely bomb this alliance. And, and we know that. So uh, we know we've got to be just all all aggressive here. And I will push her all the way as well on the alliance track. Like, I'm not, I'm not afraid to do that. But we can't expect to get the alliance. So that's a bonus there. So we put in the two troops. Um, and we're going to get full reward out of this. So we are going to get access to Swordmaster immediately. Which I might actually do. I might opt to take Swordmaster, assuming at least doesn't take it. And just give up the Spacing Alliance. And we'll just use Guild Administrator for the Spice. That might actually be a better use for us here. People take game and assume you're just going to bomb the Alliance. But I don't think this is a this is the spot for us here. Yeah, I pass. So I think we, we sacrifice the Alliance and we get Swordmaster. I think that's more important here. I think we need Action Economy. And bear in mind, again, I have got Trum Delegate. So it's not even that big a deal. Um, so. Ooh, voice. Brutal. We can get both. Nasty. Always doing the work. Very nice. So, chance we weren't going to find it. That is why I love the voice. Such a good card. Such a good card. Best of both worlds. But again, I'm happy to sacrifice the alliance. Like, it's not, it's not that necessary. I'm happy to just take Spice here. I expect she will... Use shifting to take the alliance now. It's about the only move she's really got. Um, maybe takes Mentat at the same time. I could see that, but I think she just if she's if she's got it, I fit and she hasn't put it down. I think she just shifts the alliance immediately. I kind of almost want her to. I don't really want to take the bump on this, but if she doesn't, I feel compelled to. So I kind of want to just to shift the alliance now, so I can just take the, uh, I can just take the spice. Because then also we're armed up for like highliners and all sorts of crazy stuff, techs. So that makes our life nice and easy. And we don't have to worry about this at all. It's not important to us. I'd rather take the spice. 
Paul Atreides can take Mentat, but he can't. He has no faction stuff. So he only gets one. He, he cannot use the ability yet. So we'll take the spice. She'll continue to increase it because she can shift away. We will eventually chase it. There goes Shuttle Fleet, obviously. I'm not too worried about it. Ooh, flagship turns up. That could be good for us. Holtzman. We might go Holtzman and go hybrid. Holtzman does give us extra protection against um, Mother Maheim as well because you've got that extra card draw. So there's, there's a bit going on here. Okay, so Mahayim's coming. Almost certainly here. So, good thing is... Yep, so Mahayim's taken, we know that. So, we're just going to go ahead and take Great Flat and just take all the spice. And just sit here with Bucket of Spice and just threaten Highliners uh, at all times. We have Action Economy as well currently for over some people. So, I think, yeah, we just take Great Flat and just uh, just look to get it in here. Uh, what do I want to bump? We bump down for the Beetle, right? Yeah, we bump down for the Beetle. Let's just sit on buckets of spice. Pop Vernie reveals he's got a reveal now. Well, he has actually nowhere to go, and he's not using freighter fleet, so he just reveals and calls it a day. So I feel like we've gotten off to an all right start. Um, if we do find any intrigues to help us, like actually attack. Spacey Alliance, that would be good. Because obviously Laser will continue to buff it and then shift away. So I'm kind of curious to see how that might play itself out here. We obviously have absolutely tons of... Well, he won't use Maheim anymore now because it doesn't only affects me. So he'll just take the resources. But you know, Rombos revealed as well. Uh, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, we just... Move on to the next round, basically. Yeah, we've got Swordmaster early, which is earlier, which is nice. I didn't think I get Swordmaster this early, so that's cool. What's the rest of our deck? Charms there. Test. No, Test is basically just faction access. That's all it's doing. Do we take Beguiling? It's kind of tough to take faction access, uh, take grafting cards when there's going to be a degree of losing stuff. I think we just take the beetles and and just uh, take the intrigue. I think it's fine. Ooh. Or do we take unnatural? There's some highline research station lines. Our natural gives us some protection. How many cards have I got? 14. That'd be 15. See it like every other hand. Highliners helps with research station. Let's do it. There are some bad sets of card draws we get here. Like, if we just pull it immediately with no other research, it's just, like, what are you going to do? Hunts at four. No steel suits and no TM. We'll not be able to take either. And all the atomics are gone. So that's pretty significant. It's no good for us. We're fourth and we have action economy, so we'll not be seeing any of those. That's pretty bad for us. 
That's our hand, and we do draw it the the unfortunate way. That's a what a rough hand. Good grief, that's that's a really tough hand. Damn. That is rough. Ring's not fully active. I can't use... That is a brutal hand. I was hoping for faction access. We've not found it. That is very unfortunate. Can't do much about that. It's, uh... It's pretty unfortunate. Paul Atreides found finesse, so he will chase and intercept shipping, which don't matter to me. He won't be able to take any techs. Man. I feel like we got to go Holtzman. I feel Holtzman. It's only, what, round... It's round five. I don't know. Is there any way I can get enough research to get our natural reflexes off? I think the short answer is just no. Which is very sad. It's a brutal hand to this. It's really brutal. Really nasty. There's nothing I can do about it. This is about as bad a hand as I could really have drawn. Very disgusting. I guess we go smuggling, cash it in, uh, and protect Mentat. And look to Mentat with Guild Ambassador. And work it out from there, right? I need card draw. And Mentat is a way to get it. Um, we could take cash. And again, look at High, uh, high Council. And Holtzman. That might be the way this round goes. I think that's what we're kind of forced to do here. A laser sword mastering. I don't think anyone else is going high council here. Uh, we have to threaten this. Just a little bit. We've got to make a laser decide what she wants to do. But again, I'm not really trying to get as I might occasionally bump up for the cash, but we have to make a fur bump to like make it look like we're, we're challenging this alliance and going to try and chase it down. But we're not really. But I wasn't really worried about. Could have blocked like Swordmaster. It's not. It's not. Did Paul Traders get planned coupling? No, that was that was Rommel, wasn't it? Yeah, this is a very dicey, dicey round. Prince Robert Verney's actually went high council. Which I didn't expect. I will say, if we do go Mentat, we are very beholden to whatever we draw. A laser goes for restrictive ordnance and sacks off the uh, and sacks off Swordmaster, which is very interesting. I guess worried that Rumble was going to take it. 
Uh, you always gotta love uh, conspire strong arming. That's always a nice place to be. So I know we don't. Do we bump? Is the cash useful for me? Flagships is also there. And flagships could be really good for us here. We've got a lot of money. I think we got to bump it and, and then steal the fear of God. What do we draw? That's a good card. That's a very good card. I think we actually can take this alliance here. This alliance is very takeable right now. <laughs> Bromba takes the TM to be replaced by the other TM. <laughs> well, that was a thing. Paul will take the other one. Assuming a laser doesn't have access to it first, but she does. So a laser just retreats here. We are going to get this conflict. We're going to get this free of charge, which is nuts. We're going to get this for nothing because Paul Atreides has no actions. He can't double cross me unless he's got specific reinforcements. Um, We're going to take this for a troop because no one else is going to be able to do anything. They're all out of actions. They can't double cross me or anything. So I can live with this. We cannot take the alliance, sadly, but that's fine. There are worlds, actually. We could go Fold Space slash Highliner. Um, and hope to draw other diplomacy. There are worlds we take this. So I think we're going to Highline. Because we already got all this spice out here. I think we highline, and if we pull our diplo, we just take the alliance. There's a chance. Do not find it. That's fine. Uh, so we just put in one, which is good. And then... Do we go Holtzman? We go Carfag. I think we have to go Carfag and just hope we find it. There's a couple of intrigues that get us there. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow, that works. That's pretty sick. Wow. That's that that'll that'll do. Uh do we buy anything? Do I buy Imperial Spy? I think fact checks this is fine. Uh, so we take the cash. We take the intrigue. And we use demand respect to take it. So uh, yeah. We had a few outs and we found one. It's a bit unlucky for red. But they let me have this for absolutely free. So I guess that's the way it goes. But uh, that, was, uh, that was a useful find. We have a million actions. Uh, we are almost certainly going to be headed to research station. With, uh, with some tests here, probably. But yeah, we do find it. We had a lot of outs. Demand, uh, quid pro quo, um, finesse was out, bribery. We had, a, we had a few options there, so, you know, we had, we had a fair few outs. We had all the resources to pay for anything, so um, obviously it's not likely to find it, but occasionally you do. So, so we've got our one alliance, which is good. Uh, we just need to make sure to get our rest of our friendship points. We're not going to be able to achieve anything else this game. A laser will be after Steel Suits Manufacturer, which makes sense. It's going to be her next plan. 
There's no Mentat. It amazes me how many people forget that there's no Mentat. You see this all the time. It's like really... I don't get why people, so many people miss it. Uh, do we want to go Selective Breeding? I think Selective Breeding is not outrageous here. We can do, send it with Experimentation. Just draw loads of cards. Or do we grab Holtzman now? Polytrades did not... I mean, I can always send it to elsewhere. I think... Am I getting Spice Plus Flows? Is it worth getting Holtzman now? I, I really don't know. I really don't know if Holtzman Engine makes sense. Here's the problem. Like, it's round six. A spice pays for selectives. I count to it as an option, I guess. Is anyone else getting Holtzman Engine right now? Romba technically can with his ring. I guess we go for it now. I'm a bit concerned to leave Selective though. That's a pretty good. That's a good one for us. It's a good spot for it. I'd hate to give it up. Also, if I go Holtzman, I can't go Selective. No, I think I I think I would rather go Selective Breeding here. I need actions for cards. Um, so I think this is a little more... I should have gone up to trash more cards, actually. That was a mistake. I think we made the right call. I think he was going selective if he could. We find Diplo. We've got Choam. Two, four, five, six. So obviously no benefit here. It's just the wealth hit. Nowhere else to send it. I think High Council is probably not unwise here. Um... I want to use test at the end to force troops out of combat. Ah, Chone Delegate's too hard to give up, though. Hardy Warriors. I could test at the end. I guess that's fine. Um, Steel Suits is unnecessary. I've got troops to use. Gives us a point. So, combat VP. We have two actions in hand, so I think it's worth a bit of chasing. Yeah, I sort of trashed a second card. I shouldn't have taken the intrigue. That was uh, that was a bit of a mistake. It's the last card we're first to draw. It's convincing. We also don't want to spend a ton of spice because now we can actually get a point from Ambassador. So I'm kind of inclined to keep hold of more stuff. That's not to say I won't take it with shipping, if it gets to that. I'm also happy to leave Eliza the chance to get hold of High Council now if she wants it. Which I thought she might have been tempted to take. With so much money about, she's got restrictive. 
she opted not to. So we'll show him delegate shipping and then probably use the test. We'll see what happens. So that will force um that will force troops out of combat, which is kind of what I want here. Not that I can force Romba to retreat troops, but I can force a laser to drop troops. She did not have enough for the retreat. TM's going to do TM things. Don't think I can high cancel here with the intrigue. It's a bit dangerous. I can high cancel with test. But I'm not really going down this route anymore, am I? So it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, I get Snoopers, I guess. Snoopers is fine. Um, Carfag is fine. I think we just go Carfag and just take a... Oh, but I don't get a specimen. If I go to a city, which I do need. I think we go Sonic Snoopers here. And we use Sonic Snoopers with Test. Unless there's anything I need to buy right now. What's my persuasion? One, two, four, five. I could dagger it and get hold of Guild Accord. That could be useful. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a... Uh, let's do it this way around. It's not bad. We're not guaranteed to take this. We are kind of bluffing, really, here. So we get our specimen. And yeah, we take Guild Accord. That is, uh, that is a good card for us here. That's a scary card in our hands. Just gruesomes. Wow, she had both of those? That's insane. I pass. Alright, well, we get both cities. For fairly cheap. So I can't I can't particularly complain. Shadow Bargain's actually not as bad as it looks. It's actually a decent card for us here. That might be worth something. There's Guild Ambassador. So that is a point. Oh, this is an awkward hand though. Then tats, if Paul doesn't take it, probably. Selective is also alright. Though I'd rather infiltrate that. Show him straight away feels kind of bad. Glass it can't be used. I think we're hoping Paul doesn't go Mentat, but I feel like Paul goes Mentat a lot here. Um. He opts not to. Okay. That's good for us. Ooh, spacing bump. Okay. I don't think dreadnoughts are necessary. I think we're pretty heavily garrisoned here. I don't think this is doing a ton. Let's go get Mentat. And we're going to, I guess, see what happens. Just gonna kind of stall out here. That is, oh, it's almost good, almost good. Somehow it's the one 
territorial combat, we don't have any any uh, flags on, which is a little sad. <laughs> yeah, I think we just infiltrate selected breeding, like, all day here, right? This is rough for Paul, by the way. Paul does not get any card draw. So Paul is going to be forced to lose a troop here. There's nothing he can do about it. He has no cards. So dagger goes. There's nothing he can do about it. Drew pretty decently. We found our research, which is good. It's what we needed. Depending on what we draw, I mean, it's so hard to score spices for. I don't need to go mining. I've got shipping. I can just ship. Claim it that way. What I kind of want is smuggling to stay free, I think. Like, I don't see a need to go up and down here. Roma's just going to take flagships and call it a... Uh... Okay. Somehow finds Invasion Ship, which is like the best card possible. That's the best tech he could have found there. That's pretty insane. He might be eyeing up grabbing flagships alternatively. So Laser, of course, now gets that underway. It's tricky, this. Uh, if we use Choam, we can get an extra bump from Interstellar. Hmm. I don't think we need to. I think smuggling and getting this on is fine. I'd rather just draw cards, I think, here. We need to see stuff as ASAP. So, I think I'm happy just to smuggle and take the cash in and take the uh, the stuff. I mean, that's fine. I'm okay with this. There's, there's, there's no way I get flagships in this one. It's not realistic. Uh, I think we bump up for the specimen. Yeah, I think we bump up the specimen. Didn't really want to see that. It's a little unfortunate. Can't get full power of the ring in here, which is a little unfortunate, but it's fine. I mean, we could get flagships. If I go Hagger Basin and then Spice the Conflict. Ooh, actually, it's close. Six. I'd have to get second. And I could get Guild Ambassador and flagships. But it's not possible for me to do that. So, I'm 
The alternative is I go Siege with intentions of research station. Yeah, the rings kind of just come from the wrong time. I mean, I've got so many troops in garrison, I just need to offload them. I think Siege is fine. And depending on what we draw, we consider going Research Station immediately. We've got the Emperor bump, we can take that, but that's not necessary. The other alternative is we go seek. We got so we've got Guild Accord coming. Is the thing. We have got Guild Accord coming. I don't know if there's a way for me to actually get that off. But the only way I've ever got a chance to get... But then the problem is my garrison's, like, so jammed up here. Like, it's hard to get a lot of value out of it. I probably just want to reveal it. I don't know what's better here. I guess we can put the pressure on, on a laser for the spice. I think Siege is, I think, slightly stronger here. We can always go Guild Accord next round. Uh, we can't only put in three, I think. Yeah, it's probably, we can only put in three. This doesn't make any sense. Unless we take, if we take a Specimen out. We can take a Specimen out. We can sack one off. And we'll get that back next round. One way or the other, we'll get it back. Eh, I mean, no, it, it doesn't happen very often. It's just kind of the way this... It's just gone. Like, usually I offload them really easily. Very rare I have this issue. Very rare. So, Shadowy Bargain is a point. That's a point. Unfortunately, I couldn't think of a way to score a tenth point. Unless we went secrets and just got absolutely insanely lucky. Maybe I was meant to go secrets here. There's like one entry that that I I, I, I score with. But that does end it does end the game, so you know. I don't expect to um grab the ambassador point. Gives me four to buy of anything interesting, which I don't. Yeah. I don't expect to get anything. I pass. But if, if Elisa has to pay for it, it's something that she doesn't have later on. I, I already passed. So you get to decide. All 
Alright, we get our free spice. Makes me feel a bit better about, about life. Ooh, I actually have Imperial Spy in hand, okay. Economic supremacy. Wow, oh wow. Oh, jeez. Oh. We have to. I mean, I don't. I don't think Paul Atreides is going highliner. I also don't think it matters if he goes highliner. I think it's irrelevant. I don't need to block it. I don't think it's ever important that he. I block highliner. No one else is getting there here. So it's shipping to block it, if I care. Which I don't. I think it's just Hagger Base and Highline. Right? It's just Hagger Base and Highline. Let me just try and end this game. And just keep hold of voice. Like, block Hardy Warriors if people get greedy. Yeah, it looks fun to me. I don't think we need to do anything particularly fancy here. He'll go research station, obviously. Poor Trey is looking to see if I've got Guild Accord, and he knows I do. So. So he knows he has to go Highline now if he wants it. But he knows I'm just going to go over the top here. So. You've, it's, it's public, that. If that's what you're trashing. Give us tiebreaker. Um. I don't know what's causing that. I've never seen that before. Okay. Okay. So, Carfag Highline. Hmm. Problem is, I need another spice. Could go base in high end, base in Guild Accord, and look to just score everything. But we do block high line. Like, I'd rather not let Paul get there. There's nothing else I'm that interested in blocking here. Roman's got some uncomfortable stuff, but you know, I think we go basin. It gives us an eighth spice. Guild of Call costs us four, and we're just cashing everything. I think that's the move, right? I think that's the move. The issue we've got as well 
is we do have a specimen issue. Oh, shoot. I was... I can't... Mm, I got a problem here. I can't put everything in that I'd want to because of the specimens. Oh, this is bad, actually. I can only put in 19 strength. Because I've got three specimens up top. I think it's hard to win this fight. I think it's hard to win this fight. I think we have to try. I think we've got to go for it all. I think it's important to block Paul anyways. I mean, you could argue it's important to block him anyways because he wants the fold space point. I don't think he's the big problem here, but I'd rather no one just, just no one ha like counter dispensation. Maybe like Elaine has got counter dispensation, so it just prevents any madness. And we obviously yeah we've dropped the troop troops in, but yeah we have to just throw in the five and hope that eighteen strength is enough. And we it's this is very greedy. This is very greedy. There's not a lot of intrigues out there, so. Problem is, I think we're going to be in trouble here. I don't think I can win this fight anymore because of that. I think I have to sack off the... Uh, oh, this is tough. I've got to make a guess here. I've got to guess, is Romba Vernius getting to Hardy Warriors before a laser? Because if laser goes Hardy Warriors, she just wins the conflict. Unless I chuck in specimens. I think we got a guarantee. Guarantee two points is fine. Um, if we score two points, I think we just win that game anyways here, right? Because like, the favorite subject gives me a third. So we'll have to sack off the specimens, which is a shame. But it is what it is. You know, way it goes down. But I don't think we can take the risk. I think we have to uh, we have to guarantee the uh, the fight points here. We can't we can't take that risk. And we'll snoop in a moment. We're still not guaranteed to win this, by the way. If a laser does beat us, then we're 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 toast. I don't think Romba ever really beats us here. Not without an alliance. It's very hard to see how he wins this. But he's got a second place to fight for. So Hardy Warriors it is. I think we made the only choice we could. We sack off Shadowy. And uh, hope this all works itself out, basically. I don't think there was any other move I could have played here. I think given the way this has gone down, I think this was uh, this is this is forced. And if if Elaze has his beat, then we're just toast. There's nothing we can do about it. So. I need favored subjects. I can't trash that. Um, that's a point. I, I can't sack the point. That's not doing anything for us. Shame. Uh, take the bump. Uh, I have three. I think the five for three. Don't think so. Just gonna hope we're good. But we're not likely to be good here. So. Like, we're safe for two. 
you know, if we lose to a laser, there's, that's the way it goes. I don't think we've really done anything particularly wrong this game. I think we've played pretty decent. It's also very possible that we, we lose anyways to Romba with end games. If there are worlds we lose, so. We win the conflict, we're good. If we don't, we probably lose outright. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Well, I don't like our chances. I mean, it's double TM games. So it's, 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 you know, if we lose, we lose. If we lose to two TMs, like, what are you going to do? Well, she dines. Nothing to help. I'm happy if Abby played. I don't think we could have done any more this game. I'm, I'm pretty happy with we, how we played today. We lose, we lose. Well, that's four victory points for Paul Atreides. So that gets him into contention. It's obviously he was waiting for. It's not good enough to win, but, you know. He's hoping the game somehow continues. I pass. Either Red's got it or Red doesn't. And they they tie up. So that is uh that's just keep going. So nothing we can do. That is uh that is us we get a point out of it, but that's us probably toast. So, whoops, didn't mean to do that. So, oh well, it's the way it goes. We did what we could. We made the right, I think we made probably the, the, the best call we could. Um, nothing we can do about it. So, oh well. Uh, I don't think there's any way to rescue this anymore. Um, yeah. We're unlucky. I don't even draw um, Guild Ambassador either for the thing. Which is a shame. But yeah, we are, we're, we're totally toast here. The only hope we've got is we find Guild Ambassador to say to get a point and somehow get out of jail here, um, and maybe like find a we find a spice was flown. We score two points. Um, no, I think I think I'd rather go research station here. I don't think selective helps enough. I think I want I need the spice. Also means it gives me a reason to give the ring. I mean, I think we're just pretty toast here. There's nothing we can really do to save this game anymore. It's pretty over. You know, we needed that was our shot. It didn't come through, so that's just the way it goes down. The only option is we go Tessie Humanity with intention of High Council. But I'd rather just go research station here. I mean, it's a spice must flow. But it's no good. So. Disappointing. But I don't think there was much else we could have done this game. I think we did everything we could here. It doesn't matter which one you trash, Rombo. It's, it's irrelevant. Um, we do have an extra action. Uh, we'll scrap Talaxi Puppet. I guess we'll just grab some spice or something. Um, we just basically order as much card draw as we can and hope to just find... Um, we just hope to find Ambassador now. It's the only thing we've got left is Ambassador. There's nothing else to do. 
So, yeah, this is all very unfortunate for us. I can't even go spaceport and do it. I have to keep the resources open. Shame. Shame. Paul might be the beneficiary of this game. This is kind of absurd, but it's I don't see how it'll be us. Uh, so the lore of that is a few streams ago. Um, I talked a bit about this. About trying to be a bit more open minded about games I get involved in, basically. And it also ties into currently the Imperial Cup. If someone feels that I'm being unnecessarily pessimistic, then I will put in more money into the upcoming tournament. Hence the jar. Let's just go grab some spice. Trash the uh, puppet, because we don't need it anymore. Just try and get ourselves out of jail. Snooper helps. Hey, there's a point. Problem now is I can't uh, I can't actually score the uh... oh no Snooper might get us out of jail unless I draw can you if I draw thingy now that'd be so sick <laughs> if I draw the uh, Chom delegate that'd be so sick I think it's the only card where I don't have persuasion on everything else I think does it's a D six if I roll a one you roll a one. We just reveal for two points, and we say we got to eleven. It, it won't eleven won't win, but it might be second place. Maybe. So just gonna not roll a one on the d six. I don't think there's any other cards I've got which have no persuasion. Daggers are out. Pretty sure I used the fold space. If there's anything there, I can't think of it. So. Uh, um, and if I do get it, is there any reason to go anywhere else? I guess I could go... Oh, no, I can't go... Um, oh, Paul, Paul Trady's out of actions. I was about to say... I was, I was going to say I can't go High Council. But it doesn't matter. Like, I'd rather keep the resources. Um, I can force them to drop cards. Might make a difference. So. Is it worth going high council to make them drop a card? It might. It might. That will do. Hmm. Could go intrigue hunting. Uh, do we go high count to make him drop a card? I mean, sure. The green has to lose a troop again. And they get the choice. Blue has to drop the troop, which is good for us. It gives us an in-game entry, potentially. Red has to make a choice here. Red has to decide if they drop the troop out of combat, or do they drop the card out of hand? So, we'll wait to see what red does. I don't know what red does here. I think red drops the troop, surely? I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit, though. To tell red that they need to do that. You might still get uh, st I know, it's just red. That's what we keep asking. Drops the dagger. Yeah, the right call. 
So we're going to get to 11 points, which is the best we could do. Um, we are going to beat red on res or blue on resources, hopefully. Yellow's just... I don't know. I guess yellow's just hunting for TM here. Looks like it. Just a TM hunt. But we will beat red. Or we will beat blue on the uh, on the resources here, which is good. So. We've done everything we humanely could here. I think we were a bit unlucky last combat. That's the way it goes. But it's fine. So uh, we're just after we're just after um, third place. Oh yeah, it's uh, it is yeah. My bad. Yep. Yeah. Right, grab any last stuff, I guess. And a couple of coins. All right then. So we did everything we could this game. Uh, and we've we've we well we have eleven points and we we finished third, which was the best we could do. Blue just wins on end games basically. Um, I think we were unlucky. I think we played pretty well. Um, you know, I think we got very unlucky in the last conflict, but that's the way it goes. I think we played about as good as we could have done. So there you go. Uh, what they won? Naturally, they won. Well, actually, they both had TM. So first and whatever red finished at. Yeah, when a combat dude's buying two spices flows, like you just win games. <laughs> well, there you go, dry. It happened. How you doing, young? Um, I was about to say, young man. I don't know if you'd be offended by that. I'm trying to be nice, but hi. Hopefully you're well. Hopefully you're enjoying your your Labor Day weekend. It's um, we had our bank holiday weekend last weekend. So I was in London. Just uh, just a bang average Saturday today. Hopefully you're keeping yourself fairly well. Yeah, I don't know. I feel we're a bit unlucky. I think that was asked to win. It didn't work out that way. I mean, what are you gonna do? That's that's how it that's how it boils down sometimes. So there's that's just a whole lot of shrug. But yeah, so TM gets first and last place. So that means they cover all positions equally. <laughs> yeah. Have you have you actually had messages from people talk about Talaxi Masters? I know we've talked about it plenty on the channel. Uh the Talaxi Masters, and I've I've given my thoughts on TM. Um I won't miss it in Uprising, is what I'm going to say. I will not miss it. I know you gave me a lot of work to do when I came back from the bank earlier, though. You you timed, or whoever it was, timed that post, the second dev diary, just as I was basically going out the door. So I had to be away, come back, do the video. I was very inconsiderate, and I'm very upset by that. And I would like compensation. Alright then, uh, let's just play whatever game is next. I have no idea what this is. Doesn't matter too much to me. I won't miss it. I'm, I'm literally looking forward to Uprising. There's, there's a few things, I like. I, I took Immortality fairly, fairly positively a year ago. But as time has gone on, on a personal front, like I'm ready to move on to what's next. Um, I actually think when Doom Digital comes out, Whenever that comes out, hopefully fairly soon. I actually reckon that's going to be pretty refreshing. Uh, just playing base Dune Imperium. Uh, it's something that I've not done for a while. Um, and I think it'd be just kind of nice to just scale it back, personally. Um, I think it'll be good just to kind of play something a bit more simpler, you know. I think it'll be alright. Um, you know, like, I'm not going to miss Atomics. I, I talked about it in my review a year ago. Like, I think, to me, Atomics tried to fix something that I personally didn't care about. So it wasn't really much of a, an issue to me. Like, I was like, whatever. 
Um, I do not know who is... Really? Great. I can't see the name of the person who's running the lobby. It's just an I. Because of the reasons. It's because I'm streaming. It sometimes shortens people's names for protection. So I was like, the flick it be like, oh my gosh, that's who they are. But it. I've got it disabled, I thought. Is it not disabled? Streamer mode. How do you disable this? Uh, disable, please. Oh, you can put that in key binding? <laughs> okay. We are looking for intense flavor. Which is this one right here. But no, I, I think Doom Digital will be good. I, I do hope Doom Digital does well as well, I would like to add. Um, you know, I'm a bit nervous for it, truth be told. I do fear that it might not get as much, uh, at to start with. I think some of you are going to be a bit skeptical, which I hope not. Like, I think Doom will be good. I think once it gets a bit of time in and expands out, assumingly, I think it'll be pretty good. Um, but I know some people are a bit speculative to begin. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, Uprising should be good. Very much looking forward to it. Just a complete package. Um, it'll be curious to see whether people play it a lot with the other expansions. I think personally sitting here, I'm hoping the answer is no. I think Uprising on its own will be enough of a package on its own. I don't think adding in all the other stuff, I don't think it's going to be necessary. I think that's just going to make it a bit, bit complicated. So we'll see. So this is one of these here ranked games, apparently. Not that that means anything to me particularly, but that's what one of these are. And get ourselves another fourth. So, let's have a look what we've got here. Uh, Talaxu Row, we're never going to see. Peter Row's alright. I don't think it's going to survive by the time it gets to us, though. Techs are okay. Wind traps, snoopers. Some right stuff there. It's this reduced leader stuff, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They've changed. They've changed this rank, so it's less leaders and stuff. Yeah. Baron. Yeah, I mean it's the way it goes. Um. There are some worlds we go Ikaz for X Guild. I guess Helena's also pretty alright here. Helena negotiated is very strong. I don't play a lot of Helena. I know who I'm meant to pick. I just don't want to pick him. Baron Fourth is interesting. This is a this is I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of a bad board to be fourth. Uh, I'm gonna take Helena. We're gonna give her a spin. But I I just can't be asked to play your barn kids. Like if someone plays your barn and just spam stuff and wins, then whatever. Like I'm not that I'm not that relevant. Eh, it was yeah I I. It was a weird match. Like, I should have won it. I kind of got unlucky in, obviously, the Highliner fight. Nothing you can do about it. It's the way it goes. It's the way it goes. Yeah, so obviously, um, obviously, uh, Ilbarn here on the right. I think you're going to see Baron here, and you're going to see Leo here expecting Ilbarn to be here. And that would be great for us in a way, because it cuts off uh, Ilbarn. That's probably our best bet. Uh, we are very ring dependent here. Um, but yeah, I just I just don't want to pick Ilbarn. Like, it's just boring. <laughs> it's just not very interesting to me. That is something I have noticed as well. Looking back at, like, previous streams, bits and pieces. Yeah, Baron, and I think we'll see... I think we'll see Lido. Maybe Yuna. I think we see Leo a lot here. 
It's behind Baron as well, so there's chasing. So this might sort of equal itself out in a world. Uh, what we need to do is get to re is get to Swordmaster as soon as physically possible. And that is what we do say. And that is our opening hand. That is not great. Truth be told, that is a little ugly. Oof. Oh, we'll see how we go. I, I, for the record, I have said this before. Um, I don't play Helena much because I do not enjoy playing Helena. Uh, the way she plays is just does not suit me very often. Um, so, but I think we'll give her a spin here, just to kind of get some experience in. Like it's. I just don't want to play Orban. I just can't be arsed. Uh, it is the mixed smuggling skirm... Well, it's the spice smuggling skirmish, I should say. Which actually is not... It's actually not a bad one for us. The way this is probably going to go down. We'll see what Lido does. Did Lido go wealth looking to ring fold space? I don't know. We'll see. I'd like to see him go wealth. Nah, some things never change. <laughs> some things never change. I assume he doesn't have his ring in hand then. I will not miss this in Uprising, Mr. Denon. I'm very glad that got changed. Uh, let's make our way to... Um, let's make our way to Steel Suits. Put a troop in. And we're going to see where Two Daggers carries us. There are worlds I just go great flat instantly, by the way. Depending on what happens here. And we just conspire immediately next round. We won't ever see Krino jeans. That'll that'll never go that'll never get there. Baron's got a hardy warriors here. Like, it's just... It, he doesn't really want a hardy warrior this. The problem is, Baron can obviously... Well, Baron sacked his uh, his coin off, though. So he can't even go wealth and get his sword master this way. Now, did Duke Lido keep his ring? We'll see. But yeah, we're, we're, not, we're not favorites in this game at all going into this. But... If I care that much about winning it, I'd have picked Ilvan, and the truth is I don't. I will not miss this an uprising. Like, Ilvan just bores me to death, really, nowadays. Absolutely bores me to death. So, uh, I've got to des decide how to go about this. The problem is, we're in a weird spot where, like... If I put in one troop, my daggers are doing nothing. If I don't put any troops in, I'm asking Ilbarn to come over the top. Uh, I could put both troops in and punish Baron whenever he doesn't have... Uh, whenever he doesn't have a dagger in hand. But does it really matter to me? I guess I just got to put a second one in. Ilbon might go car fair. The problem is if he puts in free troops, I'm cooked anyway. So it's kind of bad here. I feel like I've got to put them both in and try and force the tie. It's just so bad though. God, there's nothing I can really do here. This is this is kind of grim. The problem is I can't just go in with one because he just he just goes over the top. I have to put in one troop. My daggers aren't doing anything. That's the way it goes. Uh, hang a basin? Would we go great flat here? If I get greedy, I think I get greedy. What the heck? Let's get greedy. We're going to take some risks.
didn't have any days. I just don't think it was worth chucking them into time there. I just don't think it helps us enough. But yeah, these daggers are like, they look good, but they're not actually doing anything. If, if Ilbarn really wants to come over the top, he can just do that. And there are worlds he goes Carfag and he finds an entry and just bows it in. So yeah, these daggers aren't doing anything for us, sadly. We'll just grab a liaison and call it a day. So, pretty sad opening for us. But we do get hold of Carino jeans. Which is really good for us. Now we can go conspiring. And we can cash in whenever someone else cashes in their Solari. So, uh, I cannot believe we got to that. Baron didn't take it and Lilo didn't have anything. So that's pretty good for us. So that's uh, that's pretty that's useful, and I'll take that. Um, we're not likely to swordmaster this round coming because I don't see why Baron would ever cash in his smuggling. So, but it gets us ready for it. It gets us ready for it. Depending on what the conflict is, there's worlds I get meant at. Well, why is he saying that? Baron might cash in smugly if it somehow gets to him. Because he gets bumps out of it. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Lido uh, has to hit fold space because he doesn't have any spice. And is he going to go smuggling to block? I don't know. Like, is this that beneficial to you? I don't think it really is. I think you're better off just going fold space, buddy. Does he not have faction access? Hmm. I don't actually think this is that good for him. Unless he's intending to go Menta, I guess. Looks like that must be the plan. That's pretty bad for us. That's, that's, a, that's pretty terrible for us. Um, so... I guess it's Seek Ally, Signet Ring, and Take Firm Grip. Or do we Mentat now? Ooh, do we Mentat now? Do I... Oh, gosh. I don't think I can Mentat here. I'm trying to be a little clever. Nah, it doesn't make any sense, does it? Nah, it's just conspire and just sit it there. I mean, it's alright. It'll be good later on. Yeah. So, Lido's going Mentat, we know this. Uh, I guess we just go Carfag, right? But well, we have to take firm grip, right? Firm grip's kind of weird for us, though. Like, it's obviously a good card, but it's not actually helping us get Swordmaster faster. So it's kind of a strange one. Is there a world I go Treachery? If like high council, it seems ludicrous. Ilban's one's got to go all in or nothing here. He'll go all in almost every day. He has to. He's got no choice. Um, I think we go Carfag as well. I see no reason not to. Is there any reason to do anything else here? We could Arakeen. We could Arakeen. There's no need. Let's just get Intrigues. Intrigues are fine. Mm, that'd be useful for later. I 
I think it's important for us to put in troops here. We've got to make sure we get uh, second place here. I think second place is too important. Baron takes spy so I don't get Swordmaster. That'd be funny. He could do that to get spy satellites. I've seen crazier things. I've seen crazier things. But getting the water is useful. Obviously, it threatens Great Flat. And what it also does is it also offers us research station as a backup. Uh, we can re-go at Hager, Hager Basin. You know, the water the waters just gives us options. We obviously need to mine at some point. Poison Snooper is also pretty good for us here. So, I think getting the water here with position... Well, being in the position we're at here. But we, we got to just take some chances. That's kind of the world we occupy. Yeah, Lido's. Yeah, Lido chases, but it's not going to help a ton here, so. Ilbon took subject? I didn't even see that one. So I'll just take it and call it a day. Obviously, we occasionally you have to put in the troops when you don't have it, just to keep them guessing. Lido with the free hunt here. It's not a great row for him. Uh, Imperial spy will have to be. No in the shadows for you. But yeah, that's the way I look at this game. We're just to, to play around. Like if 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 Ilbard, you no, know, just just dominates and wins. Like who cares? It's not that remarkable. Wow, charm turns up. It's pretty cool. Grab our stuff. Just had to make sure of uh, of all of that. That's kind of an annoying draw. Obviously, I need to try and find some grafting with that, which is, you know, tricky. Interesting question. Do we go for Chondrette's ship? I need to see what Ilban does here. If Ilban does not go, if he takes, like, the spice, I might legit go for Chandra at the ship with Research Station and Snooper. Like, it's on to be made here. And there's also welds we pick up, um, like, Stitched. Well, we'll probably, we won't, won't see Stitched, it's unlikely. I assume he takes the spice. That's kind of what I'm making him do. He goes smuggling. You gotta go great flat, right? Of course you do. So the only issue is we have to go. Ooh. I think we snoop immediately. But yeah, I think we get Churum here. I don't care what this is, it's Diplo. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um. Oh, this is a little tricky, actually. One, two, three, four, five. It's kind of hard to get to eight. Oh, I only need seven, don't I? So do we just grab, um, we just grab Swordmaster now. Recon Research Station. And I might just hard reveal. Uh, we can always go tech negotiation. If we pull double daggers, 
we pull double daggers, and there's nothing you can do about that. Uh, but I think we just do this now. And we just take that. No one's going to research. If we pull double daggers, we pull double daggers. Like, you can't be scared of the 36 to 1. As long as I don't pull double daggers, we're fine. Because I can go tech negotiation. We've got... I mean, we've got six persuasion. We need one more. So we're actually fine. We are guaranteed to get this. Phone grip also would kind of suck. But even then, I still can go to tech negotiation. So, you know. If we pull one of those combos, whatever. It's the way it goes. Yeah, I've, I've, I've played my share of poker. You, you can't be scared of, like, the 5 and 10%. Sometimes you just gotta roll dice. You know? Sometimes you just gotta roll dice. Our deck is getting kind of weird, though, I won't lie. So, research station it is. Do we put a troop in here? I think we put a troop in. Your barn's out of actions anyway, so. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We, we have bags. So, we can actually diplo anywhere we want, which is good. Uh, I can also take the beetle here as well. Because I've got enough specimens. So let's put that in. We take the beetle. Next hand, I think, is going to be just immediate firm grip. By the looks of it. Oh, what's our next hand? It's dagger, dagger, firm grip, convincing, and whatever else turns up. So could be interesting. Uh, I mean, I'd like to get stitched, but it's very unlikely I get stitched. If Ilban reveals and doesn't take it, I might just hard reveal. I don't know what he's doing. The problem is I could fold space, but it's not a massive benefit. I don't know. We'll see what Ilban does. If Ilban has uh, stitched, she doesn't. I don't think I can let... Ilban get stitched horror. I think that's completely absurd. I mean, shipping's nice, but like, we don't get to cash it in immediately. I don't know, it's tough. It's a tricky spot. I think both are fine. Stitch is just so good. We can occasionally graph Carino genes as well, which would be good. It lets us get out some, some bad cards out of our deck, cull it down. I think it's worth sacking off. It also, maybe occasionally we also get to graft out Cho and Dredge ship out of our hand. I think Stitched is more important. I think we go Stitched. I think, I think I'd rather Stitched here. I'm happy to sack the action off to do it. Uh, we grab that. We grab that. I think this is better. I just feel that giving Baron Stitched Horror is completely absurd. Uh, do we go Assassination Mission? 2, 6, 8, 14, no. I don't, just don't think we can let him have it. Yeah, who cares about shipping? Stitched Horror, man. I'm freaking Helena. Stitched horror. Yeah. It was going. 
Oh, interesting spoiler for Baron. So Baron has got his uh, negotiated withdrawal. He found it immediately. Does he use it? I don't know. He does use it. So he probably has like tiebreaker back or something. He just wants the alliance, obviously, for Swordmaster. So I think this makes sense. So that's cool. But yeah, I think I think Stitched is a little too good to pass up here. I think this is better. Uh, Hardy Warriors, and he'll take it down. So do we want the Intrigue, or do I want the Water? Firm Grip, Dagger, Dagger, Convincing. I think we take the Intrigue. I don't think I get to Hagger Basin anywhere near often enough. Looks kind of impossible to get there. I think the intrigues is slightly better. Yeah, Maheim to get firm grip going. Makes pretty obvious sense. Has to be that way around, of course. So, I think we're just after the intrigues. Yeah, go on. I feel like Baron probably had something. Not anymore. I, I've passed. We, we, we don't have access to Basin. We're never getting there. Take the Intrigue. That's could be useful later. Like we've we we almost never find Imperial Basin access, so or any any mining access, so I don't think it's that relevant. That's the other issue as well with going Diplo here. I almost never get the shipping either. Do whatever you want, I don't care. That's the other downside with going. If I take the shipping bump, like I I I've got a three in ten of actually drawing access there, which is which is not enough. We actually would have done, which is pretty and crazy, actually, we found that. That's actually really brutal. That's actually insane that that's happened. Wow. Well, not much you can do. Um, Yeah, not much you can do about that. That's just, that's just the way it goes. Um, so we just go... Is anyone else going wealth here? Lido sometimes goes wealth. So I think we just hit phone grip now. And I guess we just charge the Fremen. And uh, see what Baron wants to do. Yeah, that's pretty insane that we actually found... Um, we actually found the, the access there. That was not expected. That was not likely at all. So, we'll see what Baron decides to do here. Problem is, like, Leto's sitting right there on the Emperor, on the em the, the Space Alliance. He, like, he would want to probably go Hardy Warriors, but then he's fighting two factions. So, it's a little... A little uncomfortable, this. Um, I might go Disposal. I'm eyeing up Disposal Facility. Um, is there a world I go Spy Satellites just to try and trash it cheaply? Well, don't need to worry about that. So I assume Baron just goes for spacing, right? Is he really going to go Spy Satellites and try and greed both alliances? That seems ridiculous. He's actually gonna go for this? Wow, I think that's I think that's ridiculous. Unless he's got an intrigue that protects him from that. I think that's an absolutely absurd decision. I mean that's absolutely crazy. Cause now we both have to go for him. Because he's taking spy satellites. We can't just let him have both alliances. He just wins. 
I think that's uh, I think that's a crazy choice. Oh well. I mean, this still is a pretty. This is a difficult game for us to win. I'm not gonna lie. Like we're not meant to. But we'll see how we go. Uh, so we just go Imperial Basin. Take some spice. And then probably go disposal. Uh, do we take the Intrigue? Or do I just trash even more cards? Eh, let's trash more cards. No, I, I think this is ridiculous and barren. I really do. Does he li really think he's going to hold both these alliances? It just seems crazy to me. Seems absolutely absurd. But I do need Leo to help us here. Like, we both have to go for him. And also, by the way, I think this also possibly makes... Um, this also might make Ilbarn favourite as well. It's also notable. But yeah, so Disposal will give us some passive trashing, which is good, because our deck's a little big. Um, finishing on 6 shouldn't be absurdly difficult. Uh, we want to find High Council access soon. That would be nice, but it's going to be kind of difficult to get, so. And, uh, like, am I crazy with this barrier? It just seems seems absurd to me to go for both. This is, like, so crazy. If he does get both, like, I mean, he wins the game, I guess. But this is just like with Lido's chase power. Oh my god! Wow. Well, that helps. I guess that helps. That's brutal. So uh, yeah, that's um, that is unfortuitous. We still got the Emperor, so it's not a disaster. But, yeah, Lido now has to take this. If Lido does not take this alliance, the, the game is over. So, um, that's where we're at here. The problem is Lido has no water. So, he can't even use his ring. He's got to go. Man alive. Baron's going to win this. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's see what we end with. But yeah, I don't, I don't. We're not, we're not meant to win this match, realistically. Let's we'll see how we go. We'll grab the, um, we'll grab the sister and call it a day. The problem is, I think Baron wins unless Leto stops Baron winning. In which case, ooh, dissecting kit. That's, uh, that's better for us. Ooh, Bounty Hunter. That's actually a good card for us. I um, mean, it's not as good for us, but the money will help find some High Council. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. We can tr we're going to get some trashing done. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't. I think it's hard for Lido to win this now. I think the only thing Lido can do is stop Baron winning, in which case Ilvan wins. I think it's very difficult for Lido to win this here. It's kind of sad, but that's where we're at. That is where we are at.
Sorry about that. So. Yeah, so at least Stitch can get Churum out of our hands, potentially. we got to bear in mind, we're only ever going to be at three actions, like, all day. So that's worth noting. Um... Apparently, he really wants the money, so that's all well and good. Uh, we have Ring. Hmm. Keys to power looks not bad here. Opulence is also an option. Hmm. I don't know. Do we Ring Opulence? I don't see how we get Opulence and High Council, though. It seems really difficult. I feel like we kind of are meant to go High Council. Baron should... Well, <laughs> Baron should be just grabbing the spice there. That's pretty absurd. People see shipping, people take shipping. He bindus and actually passes. Can you imagine? Uh... You've got to be kidding me. You have to take the spice. What are you doing? Use your ring, man. And chase him. And then Highline. Oh my goodness. He didn't... He's not got access. This is absolutely bonkers. This is absolutely bonkers, this. I mean, Baron wins, right? Oh, wait, Orban wins. Absolutely bonkers. Um, so, stitched. Oh, this is tough. Do we go opulence, or do we go keys to power? I think Opulence is asking for too much. I think Keys to Power is just solid. It gives us the Spice for Sleeper. Uh, I kind of want to go Wealth. Uh, I don't need to go Steel, it's just new Stitched. I think we go Wealth to get Troops. It gets Firm Grip online. Research helps us a ton here. What am I drawing into? Both exper uh, experimentation, convincing, recon, something else I bought. The problem is one water does nothing for us. So it's either two or nothing. Steel suits just feels so bad. Why would I ever want to go steel suits? The alliance is gone. Now I think we go wealth. I want to get troops in. Uh, I'm not too worried about the two waters. I'm not too worried about it. Get, uh, let's get this. This might give us a water occasionally as well. Interesting. I mean, it's good. I cannot believe Baron Harkonnen got this spice after having gone shipping. That is absolutely insane to me, by the way. Absolutely insane. I mean, this is this is ridiculous, right? Le He's not even bothering to go spacing. This is absolutely absurd. 
He's playing like he's got plans. And Baron Harkonnen is just going to get absolute max value of spy satellites. Crazy. The only person that can stop Baron is Leto, and he's not making any attempt to do so. That is very sad. Unreal, kids. Unreal. Um, so... Recon? Arakeen? Am I going to get to Keys to Power? It's actually really hard to get to Keys to Power now, I've just realised. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think about that. But maybe we can grab Voice or something. Uh, Siege isn't necessary. Yeah, let's just go Carfag, see what we find. And we'll just garrison up a little bit. It's not the worst. So, that alliance is obviously incredibly safe. we we'll probably just go Siege. Oh, I need to take a card out. Sorry. Um, we take out Opulence just so no one can get it. Take it out of the game. But yeah. This is a pretty insane match, this. I cannot believe some of the stuff we've seen. And we'll look to go Siege with our Liaison... And we'll just kind of play things as they go. Are there any worlds I win this conflict? Unlikely. Yeah, he wanted to go to Arakeen or Carfag, really. He feels he's got to go for the conflict. Yeah, I, I just cannot believe Baron... Like, is not being challenged at the Space Alliance. That absolutely blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind that that, that hasn't happened, so... Like, no one else can do it. He probably gets to the Talaxi Spies first as well. Like, everything's going to the Baron here. You definitely can't do that. That's that's a chase. It was a uh, glimpse, for the record. Still won't chase. Still won't chase. Like, he's playing like he's got plans within plans. But you still go for the Alliance here. Absolutely baffling to me. Um, do we put in heavy to stop Lido finding his way to Great Flat? Or do I care? I don't think I care. I don't think Lido goes Great Flat a lot. I think he goes shipping, you'd imagine, because he's the only person to stop Baron getting there. So surely he has to go there, right? But, I mean, who knows? He should have taken the spacing lines by now, and he didn't. But, you know. I mean, it hugely matters here. Shuttle feet turns up, which is not irrelevant. Uh, let's just go ahead and get some water. But I don't care about him taking the water here. It's not that important. Yeah, just... You know. Yeah. Not much you can do about it. It's the way it goes. I don't think Baron's trashing much here. Baron Baron is he trashes two. I think Baron is it's either Baron or all bomb. I don't see how either of us win this. Leo. It looks awesome. Well, he trashes a lot. Interesting. Just total total cycle. Okay, I guess. So we have a grand conspiracy. Which is actually not outrageous for us. We can definitely get that going for a point. 
Uh, we do have Sleeper. Hmm, I see. So Baron had negotiated. And he's going to take it here. So I think he was trashy because he didn't have any battle intrigues. Maybe I should have gone in. I wasn't paying attention to his deck. So it'd be nice to get Shuttle Fleet. <laughs> He's going to double cost me out. I <laughs> Seems a waste of time. So. But yeah, Bar Baron, Baron is massive favorite here. Absolutely massive favorite. Um, I think to the point where I, I mean, he's at seven points. <laughs> you know, he's, he's four clear. I don't really think this is, uh, yeah, if we had gone in, we wouldn't have won this anyways, very likely. So we'd have to have master tactician and shut our eyes. But yeah, Ilbarn's just buying spice every round. Like, this is over for us. That's just the truth. I, it's, I, I just don't see how we ever recover. I'll have a crack at it, but seems pretty tough. I don't care about the water. Is it worth using Tactician for the water? I think so. Now it is. Now I want to cut it off. Because shuttle feet turned up specifically, great flats too important. And we have we have full license just to just to completely gamble now. All right, we find Stitch with Carino. That's a uh, that's a Brucey bonus. I have no council access. Are you kidding me? What? Oh man. I guess it's a uh, Great Flat Research Station then, right? Ilbarn's got, um, he's after that. Yeah, alright. So let's go... Good thing I took the water in the end. Oh, we have to research station first, though, don't we? Because I have to pay Stitch now. Yeah. So I have to research station immediately. It also gives us the Talaxu Spice, actually. So it's actually not outrageous. So we at least get that steel. So that's kind of useful. Uh, grab the water. Um, we put in a troop. What am I doing in the round here? Let's put in one. Yeah, I didn't even realize that. Uh, Great flat gets us to nine. Oh man. We have firm grip though. We've pulled specifically. I might legit have to just reveal Great Flat. I uh, have to reveal for the spice here. Um, I mean, if Shuttle Fleet goes, it's not a disaster. I've got Diplo. But I think we have Firm Grip. We have Nine in hand after experimentation. I, I think we have to just buy the spice. we got to take the points whenever they turn up. I don't think there's any any way about it. Firm grip to uh, get shot feet just feels really bad. Now I can get the bumps elsewhere. Uh, the other alliance is not in danger. I only need two bumps. I've got Diplo. Let's see firm grip again. I did not. Uh, yeah, I meant to do that. Good point. Yeah, triple, triple beetle is pretty cool. Nah, 
No, I, I'm buying the spice, and I'm going to gamble that Shuttlefleet stays there. If it goes, it goes. This might well be the only spice I get to buy here. It's just the way our deck's drawn out. If we lose Shuttle Fleet, we lose Shuttle Fleet. Like, what are you going to do? Let's hold on to Shrug. Um, I think we actually hold on to... Just trying to decide how to play. Uh, where do I go for my bump here? Grab the extra spice? Yeah, let's grab the extra spice. I mean, admittedly, Grand Conspiracy, though, is kind of weird. Well, I do need an extra bump. Uh... Yeah, I need three bumps. No, I think we gamble. I think, like, Baron is so far in front here. I think it's worth gambling. I think I'd rather just take the spice. If it disappears, it disappears. Like, it's like whatever. Nah, it's fine. Uh, we gamble. And we have options next round. We can shuttle fleet, highline. You know, we can do whatever. Nah, I'm not using firm grip. If shuttle fleet, if if Baron, if shuttle fleet goes, shuttle fleet goes. Highline is also not bad. We can highline with Sleeper. Uh, that's a point. It gets us to like nine if we win it. So, you know, we, we keep we we just take the hard point. Our options are open. Shuttle fleet would be good, but Highline's also there. If it goes. So I, I think I think this is fine. Just take the, just take the hard point, you know. And if we somehow stumble upon corner and somehow Ilban doesn't already have it, then it's like fine. Ilban's gonna fight here, or he's got gruesome or something. We'll see. We will get the water, so that's good. We did. Green's very curious about my hand. I mean, Green probably knows more about what my deck is than I do. I'm not really paying a ton of attention. I have no idea what Green's doing. His hand is doing. It's because he's 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 got the the bar at the bottom, so it looks kind of weird. Well, Baron doesn't go for shuttle fleet, so I'm going to be presented with options depending on what we draw. It's the wrong way around, but I, I'm not making play any. I'm just I've just been amazed. Like Baron's been allowed a lot this game. I'd be amazed to win this. Like we are, it's very unlikely we we find the win. Like we are behind. I just couldn't believe that Baron. Like I just can't believe Leto didn't bother challenging Baron. That just seemed completely mad to me. That that didn't happen. Is the only person that could do it, and he decided not to bother, so. That's our hand. 
I forgot I bought dissecting. So, it is Imperial Basin. Oh, man. Can I score five points? One, two, three, four from Talaxu. Trying to see how I score the points. And don't forget the four. The question is, how do I get the five? That's the question. How do I get the five points here? I need to end the game this round. Really. Don't see how I get to five without some intrigue assistance. I think Highline's forced here. Uh, it has to be Highline Signet Ring to probably Research Station. Um, what are the other two cards I'm going to pull into here? Other Experimentation. No, that's out. I have no idea what the rest of my deck is, by the way. I've paid not much attention. <laughs> it's stuff we've got hold of, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think Hi Highline's. I think it's Highline Research Station, and we just work it out from there. I'm not even gonna wait on this. I'm just gonna just bang it in. There's no need to piss about. Do I buy liaisons? I don't even remember. Let's see what he values more. Yeah, I didn't think Baron was going to go research station anyways. He's going to get shuttle fleet, obviously. Um, so... I think we just have to close our eyes and just hope we win. He goes spaceport! Oh, of course, he's, he's got spy satellites. He doesn't need shuttle fleet, of course. Forgot about that. So, I think we have to just close our eyes, um, just get to 10, and just hope we win. Do we even bother going research station? Do I just go Carfag and just jam in as many troops as, as, as possible, as fast as possible? Like, I don't think Research Station really helps us. Um, Because I can just use my, my experimentation to get the Talaxu point. I think I'd rather go Carfag. And just just jam the field with 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 dudes, and try and get intrigues that help us out here. We are not guaranteed to win this, by any stretch. Um, bear in mind this is doing nothing for us currently. We're just trying to win this hard way. We're going to get an Intrigue from Carfag, and we're going to get an Intrigue from this. Uh, combat's 8, Talaxu's 9, Sleeper's 10. And we just we just hope that we, we, we outpays. The other alternative is we grab Spice now and Shuttle Fleet it. That's the other option. But then we are leaving ourselves really thin on the ground. What intrigues does Baron have? 
He sacked free when he kind of wanted combat stuff. So he didn't. He probably didn't get rid of any. He used whatever one it was. How is 14 ever enough here? Is 10 enough? Do I just win the game at 10? Well, I want to go Carfag first because I don't want other people going Carfag. I think 10's good. I don't think we need to mess about here. I think we just we just go... Let's just go Carfag. And just jam dudes in. And just say, well, that is an absolute insane find. Are you kidding me? Holy bejesus in a nutshell. Wow. Uh, so, Paul, so if you highlight... I, I, I can't show it here... So if you draw a box over your troops like this, um, you hold them, you can press the top of the keyboard, like one, two, three, and that'll order them to make it look a bit easier to count. How in the world did we find that? Wow. That is a ridiculous draw. That's completely absurd. This is going to be... Because the thing is, like, I'm, thro I'm throwing it in. They've got to work out, is the game going to end this round? If, if Baron's trying to work out, if I don't go in now and go in next round, like, is the game safe? I would say looking at this, I, I think it's pretty hard to see how the game ends. And it looks like I'm just throwing everything at it because I, I ain't got too much else to do. So... I think he will go Hardy Warriors anyways. Oh, he doesn't. Wow. This is... We're basically bluffing here. It's like a reverse bluff. We're, we're making it look like that we're just trying to take the combat down here. Because we can't do much else. And we actually have so much behind us. This is absolutely nuts. Uh, well, I bought the Swordmaster. I was the first person to Swordmaster this game. But there are games where you don't buy Swordmaster. So bear in mind, uh, the long reach bumps have to be different factions. Uh, he did take the bumps, right? Hold on. He's got to... He's got to take these, right? There we go. He has plans. He must have been the first card he drew was plans in plans. I also don't know why he's taking the cash, but whatever. In case he finds Grand Conspiracy as well, I suppose. I don't know. Anyways, we're just going to grab Spice, and this is going to be uh, absurdly, absurdly dirty. Uh, there's... Oh my god, we find Allied Armada as well, by the way. Holy crumbs. Wow. Amazing. That is a, a completely ridiculous draw of intrigues. Can you believe it? We lose to Rapid from Red and plenty of backup. I think mean, that's about it. Wow. 
Well, the more these that go, it's the better for us here. A, a ridiculous run of cards. Absolutely absurd run of cards for us here. I, I, that's, that's some of the more ridiculous I've seen in a long time. Uh, yeah, yeah, trash it. Go for it. I don't care. I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm not that worried about it. You still will do your action. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we lose, we lose. But, like, we've had an absolutely absurd run of cards here. Baron Member is at 9. He has two spy satellite points. He's going to get at 10. If he has another endgame point, like, that's the way it goes. I don't think he has plans, because I'm pretty sure Lido's got plans. Uh, he's not the end of the research. He doesn't have enough resources for, like, other endgame stuff. And Corner does nothing for him. So I don't know what endgame points Baron could possibly have here outside of spy satellites. I think we're good at 11. I don't see how Baron gets to 11 here. He gets to 10 all day. But unless I'm missing something specific, I don't see how he gets to 11. Yeah, crack on. And we still win some we win some spice tie breaks as well. Actually, no, we don't. So we find that. We find sleeper. And we just close our eyes. Basically. We just close our eyes. That's how he gets to 11. Oh, but we win. Oh, but yeah, we win. Uh, I was going to say we win Spice Tiebreak if he retreats. It doesn't matter. If he has, If he has another point, like, there's nothing we can do about it. But I don't see what endgame points he has. If he's got... I mean, yeah. Like, what endgame points does he possibly have? We're the ones with Grand Conspiracy. Nine, I think. Because they're Fremen. Uh, I pass. If he's got staged, then... Well, if he's got staged, I beat him on Spice Tiebreak. Because he loses the he loses the resources, so I'm okay with that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go step at a time here. We're going, people are rushing. Okay, now you use war chest, which gets you to I don't know what strength you're at here. Four, five. Like, where's green at? Is he at 9? Is he at 11? Like, what, what's green at here? This is why people rush here. I have no idea what strength he is. Like, I have no idea. Is he second? Alright. I'll take your word for it. Alright, if you're all happy. I just close my eyes and uh I mean ridiculous. <laughs> we were just completely bailed out by intrigues. Absolutely bailed out by intrigues this one. Did not deserve this at all. I get nothing for grand. I didn't need it. I was so, so far behind. I don't know how we... We got bailed out the intrigues. I mean, that and that and that. That was a ridiculous pull. So we were, we were bailed by intrigues this game, I think. 
being truth be told. Yeah, he had to do that. I, I got bailed by intrigues. Like, I found... I found the Benny bump at the end. I found... Well, that was the first thing I got. But I got very fortunate. How do we... So what's... Does anyone know what the code is for the submitting stuff is? I, I don't know. Is it the same still? Alright. Yeah. I don't know how we won this. I, I, I think we got absolutely bailed out by intrigues. Um, going to Carfag was nuts. I mean, to find that point was insane. Um, and that, yeah, that sealed it. But yeah, like, Green had a really, a lot of deck stuff going and just couldn't get, never got it around to firing it off. Uh, Choem, grabbing that immediately was huge. It gave us half a chance. Apparently, I never even saw. Um... Yeah, I stand by the firm grip, just by the spice. Obviously, I didn't know I was going to peel the point like that. That was insane. But I still think just taking the, the spice there, I think, is the right call. Uh, we found the Carino genes just like we, 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 we were pretty fortunate this game. We found the timing to somehow get to the end of this track. I don't know how we did that. Uh, a lot of ridiculousness happens. So I, I think we, we were pretty fortunate this one. I don't really feel any desire to take any particular credit of this. Um, I think we were just bailed out. You might disagree. You might view this differently. But I, I feel like we, we got kind of bailed out in this one. Uh, if, we, if we don't draw dissecting and I don't find that, we lose. So... You know... I mean, we had been trashing cards though, so I guess you you kind of take the you take the rough of the smooth. But yeah, I I think we got I think we got away with this. I don't think I should have won this a lot of the time. Especially once Lido doesn't like go and do anything about Baron's alliance. Like Baron is just meant to win this game so much. Um, and Ilban, like he got free spice plus flows going, but he was just too slow. Uh, only, only two fat, only two friendships. Even though he got two combat VPs, like um, Ilban just took too long to get going here. You know, he's got he had um, subject, but it took him forever to get actually over to here. So he wasn't even doing a lot for a lot of the game. So he was a little slow. Yeah, don't know how he won this. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know how he won this, man. I... Pfft. Very fortunate. Very fortunate, indeed. I guess you take what you can get, though. We've had our... We've had our plenty of um, games that have gone to absolute hell, so... <laughs> Maybe it's, it's nice to be on the right side of them, I guess, for once. Uh... I mean, we're here... In terms of doing one more game... Ah, sod it. What the hell? I'm already here. Let's just stay here. I guess we'll do one more. I don't know. I mean, I guess I was unnecessarily pessimistic, right? Come on, then. There you go. There's an extra ten bucks into the prize ball, kids. I'll call myself out on it. There you go. If I'd have lost, I would have saved myself $10. <laughs> That's the way I'll look at it. That's the way I'll look at it. I cannot believe we won that game. That's absolutely nuts. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick break here, uh, just for for a moment. I need to like have a I need to walk and like understand what happened. I'll, I'll be right back, kids.
Would I rather lose that game, or would I rather keep ten dollars? I don't know. I feel like I'd have to. I'd have to think about that. All right, then here we go. Then one more for the road here. So it looks like we're in second. Remember, this is this weird hold system. We're doing this 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 different draw, right? Right. Well, so red red's got uh, beast, Ekaz, Yuna, and the fourth one doesn't matter. <laughs> Unless you want to play Memnon. Full Memnon. Uh, so we'll look at the row then. Uh, Contaminator would be nice if we could get it, but it's unlikely. This Imperium row. It's pretty solid, actually. Nothing outstanding, but it's pretty solid. Tanks aren't bad. Chow Murky. I do like a bit of Chow Murky. Troop transports could potentially be very strong for us because we're in second position. It tends to favor that a little bit. Uh, detonation. I would never possibly comment. There's messages going on. Uh... Huh. That's... Interesting. Let me put this down here on my source list. So you can see what's going on. I don't think he's picking Memnon. I don't know who we pick here. Obviously, Beast would be great. Ekaz? Ekaz of Ixkill Compact is actually deceptively not bad. Revealing and trashing that is for negotiators. That's that's a tech. You know. Uh, people people underrate X Guild Compact. It's not bad. I, I told him. It's it's be it's beast E Armored E Cas, Memnon and Yuna. We're doing this uh draw thing. He knows about Memnon, so he can hear me. No, he'll he'll take beast. So Ekaz, I don't hate Yuna. You're in second is option. Well, they're trialing this. You you choose who you want out of the four, and I have to choose from the rest because it's the, the orders changed. That they're trialing a different order. But it's not been changed on the mod because it's still predominantly 4321. So yeah, you type me which one of those you want, and then I don't pick it. Or I pick it and I break everything. And I leave. I mean Ecas Truth Save is just better. But Ekaz Eek's Guild is, is an interesting way to go. She wants you now. Alright. Peace then it is. He's my boy. I haven't played Beast for a while. Yeah, they've, they've only started, they only tried it, started trying it a couple of days ago, so. There's yet. Yeah, fairly standard stuff here. Alright then. Well, that's how much Yuna cared about what the, uh, what the combat was. I think I'll, uh, I can't even let Baron choose his things. Jeez. Is the skirmish victory point. So, problem is, we can of course go fold space. The problem is, is that obviously we've drawn both. So, that's a thing. 
Um, it's a ch they've changed the rank for this next season. They're trialing 4 3 one 2 But the mod doesn't implement that yet, so you've got to do it manually. Ah, man. I feel like I'm meant to go fold space just to slow Baron down. I guess we're kind of forced to, right? Probably fold space wealth. We'll see. But we just have to take this just to stop just to stop um Baron getting there. Just to slow him down. Slow both of them down. Um there will be a world eventually I get in front of them, so that'd be nice. Uh I mean in the couple of games I've played, it doesn't really feel like it's made a particular difference, but it's not meant to make a big difference. So I see it goes well. Okay. I would like Steel Suits. If Steel Suits goes, am I interested in Secrets? Would I rather get boots on the ground at, like, Carfag or something? Well, I think Steel Suits is automatic. Curious to see what Unit does here. I think we still put two in, though. And tell Tezia and say if she wants to dance at Carfag, she can dance at Carfag. And that's uh, her destiny to, to take here. Baron loves it, by the way. He realizes he's gonna... I think Baron goes Carfag anyways. So I, I think we're good for the water here, which is good. Like, having water dominance is good. What we'll probably do is go Hagger Basin. Uh, Hagger Basin, maybe Chow, immediate Chow Murky. Maybe Hagger Basin, immediate Chow Murky next round. Feels like a, uh, I'm going to get five and hope I find Talaxu Master Hunt this. Kind of feels like it. Oof. Oh, Yuna. Man, that's that's kind of rough. Well, uh, we're going to go ahead and take uh, Contaminator because Yuna decided she didn't want it. So I'm, I'm totally cool with that. We have four. The sand's not as good as it looks at the moment. Ixguild... Ixguild has obviously uses because we are beast. Dreadnoughts are fun. Detonations are there. Truthsay is just solid. Truthsay is never bad. I don't know which one's better here. I would love both cards. That'd be great. Exguilds, I think, is more interesting. But Truth Say is just solid. Exguild means I have to find a way to fold space, though, and that's going to be difficult. Baron's going to hit it. Tezzy's going to hit it. I don't have any grafting. I think Truth Sayer is marginally better here. It probably is the better card overall. Big skill would be fun. We won't ever see it. Well, he has free persuasion, and I've got to say, that's not a good roll for free. But that's the risk you take. So Tezzy Avernius has got steel suits, I think, here. She does have Steel Suit Manufacturer, and she will rock and roll with that. That is absolutely crazy. Turn one Steel Suit Manufacturer with Tezzy Avernius is... Um, that is... There's a lot going on there. So, we have choices. We can smuggle... Or we can just go immediate Hagger Basin. And I really like the idea of immediate Hagger Basin. Uh, 
And I think I think immediate Hagger Basin is just forced, right? What else would I do here? I don't have to go Chow Murky. No, Chow Murky is fun. I've got obviously my ring and I've got both daggers, so I think let's do this and we'll put it in and we'll kind of see what happens. Also, having water is going to be good for Contaminator. We are obviously going to have to... App we are going to war with Tezzy over the Fremen Alliance. That's just the way this has gone down. Her finding Steel Seas Manufacturer is completely absurd. Um, and the two of us are just going to go to war here. I'm hoping that her desire to do other stuff is going to be of use. Also, bear in mind, Baron's not going to be in this combat either. So we know we're going to get at least a spice out of us. Uh, Baron will go up, and then he'll go up and down and grab two transports, pretty surely. So, the only question is, if Carfag's available when it comes back to us, do we go Carfag? And I think the answer is... probably. I think we have to fight Tezzy of Gear. She's got all the experimentations. Yeah. She will get Swordmaster pretty quickly here. Uh, I think we have to just go absolutely knees in on the Fremen Alliance and kind of close our eyes and hope it all works out here. Bear in mind, Tezia does have Hardy Warriors access. And I'm sure she will go Hardy Warriors. Did she have any daggers last round? I wasn't paying any attention. So that's 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 the wrong color. No, we have to go Carfag, right? I think we've gotta protect the spice for conspiring. For money. Yeah. We know red had both their daggers, so that's fine. Um Ooh, that's interesting. I think we put them both in. Occasionally, Tezia is uncomfortable with that. Occasionally, she closes her eyes and goes Hardy Warriors anyways. And occasionally, we actually use Mentat to actually go up and get Chow Murky and redraw here. This is an interesting, interesting little spot here. Tezia will know that I've got both daggers. And she knows I've chucked them in, even though that I know... Well, she should... if that I, in theory, know that she can go Hardy Warriors. But I'm apparent, I'm not scared about that. So, I think Tezia has to close her eyes and go in anyways. Because it's water for second. And it's Steel Suits Manufacturer. She, she's got to go in, right? You feel like she's got to go in here. I don't think she goes Mentat to stall. The secret seems crazy. I did not think that was gonna be a thing. Does Yuna go Hardy Warriors now? She has access. Yuna was not planning to go Steel Suits Hardy Warriors. But it's in front of her. She goes secrets! What is happening this game? Wow. So I guess the redraw. Do we calculate higher and grab Chow Murky? How am I getting Swordmaster? When am I getting Swordmaster? Baron's going to cash to two. That gets me the seven. I think we get to eight quickly enough. I think we just hold on here. I think this is fine. Um, we have two. Let's grab a liaison. They're always useful. Calculate high will have more. It has uses elsewhere. It's a bit unnecessary right now. 
And if Yuna's flute into an intrigue, which she can beat me in combat, then she's flute into an intrigue, beats me on combat. But she has no daggers. So the best she can do is tie us. Would Yuna tie us in combat to stop us getting the point? Maybe. I've seen I've seen crazier things. There's a TM. Yuna can get that. Oh, she can't! Oh, she had four. She's got to rip the row here, right? Yeah, she's got to rip that. That's a, that's a terrible row for four. That's a better row for four. I will not miss Talaxi Surgeon in uh, in Uprising. I pass. So, bit of a bonus point there. I didn't. I I was fairly expecting Tezia to absolutely barrel in there, but I mean, I can I can live with that. We will not get to Great Flat. I don't really have any intentions of going Great Flat. As you notice, I've not remotely talked about Great Flat. Ooh, that's our hand. Ooh, what a hand. Oh, man. Oh, this is actually kind of brutal. I would absolutely love to go conspire Mentat here. This is all standard. Oh, man. This hand's almost too good. This hand is almost too good for us here. Pound's going Emperor. Fair. Cash is standard. So Tezzy has got is got to go well for Swordmaster, right? You would imagine. So the thing is, Tezia probably beats the Swordmaster, and so does Yuna. So there is a, an argument that says we actually just pay for Mentat hard way and keep the intrigue. Yeah, she just gets this all day. This is pretty pretty standard. Well, actually, this is actually possibly good for us. This actually might do us a favor. The problem is, if I go conspire, obviously I don't have the spice for calculated. I really want free actions here. Um. Yeah, so she just she just binks it immediately. Sacks it off. Yeah, it's not how she intended to do it. So it is her first action in the third round, and Yuna has got. How do you have? F oh yeah, that as well. She has she has five beetles in five actions. That is freaking absurd. So hmm. I think we gotta go conspire. Uh, what do I drop? Do I drop anything out of my hand here? It's too good. Do I drop the signet ring? I don't really know what to do here. I could go ha Imperial Basin, calculated higher, and then conspire. I'm a bit worried about the Fremen, though. Because Baron Ghost still suits all day. I feel like we've got to get Contaminator off here first. Oh, this is this is really awkward. I gotta sack something off here. Um, I think we gotta go. We gotta go Fremen now. I don't think we're gonna see it. I think Baron goes. Goes still suits a lot. I've got to make a decision here. <sighs> Man. 
Oh, he goes Imperial Basin. This is a tough spot. I'm trying to think what's better here. Um, we have to fight Tezia for this alliance. Uh, if I go Steel Suit, she goes Hardy Warriors. Hardy Warriors will not be there if I if I don't go now. Tezia Tezia's going Hardy Warriors all day. I never see Hardy Warriors. If I want to go for it, I've got to go for it now. I think it's important to stop her from getting it here. I've got to fight for this alliance. We're going to grab that. Uh, we're going to take that. Uh, I think I calculated higher now. And then we're going to look to... Uh, uh, look to go mining. Probably the ring. And then conspire. Oh yeah, Swordmaster. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I, I totally missed that. <laughs> okay, well then, conspire... Hardy Warriors would have been probably sharper, but it's fine. I also want to try and get someone else to go Steel Suits to try and shut Tezia out. Because they know she's got Steel Suits Manufacturer. They know how important it is to keep her away from that. Ugh, wow. Finds it. That's disgusting. That is absolutely gross. Okay. That's fine. We can get that by that. Actually, in a way, makes our lives a little bit easier. I'm actually kind of okay with that. Now I don't need to worry about the... We can actually go Carfag here. Because of that. And then look to go Carfag Secrets. Well, Carfag Wealth. Because we're going to get the Spice. So that's actually... I'm, I'm okay with that. I think that's fine. Let's go Carfag. Put in two. We get to see what Tezzy wants to do. Yeah, Baron's. Baron's playing good here. Yeah, not likely you would have find uh, Diplo. Not entirely likely. Or Conspire. And she doesn't always go Conspire anyways. That's fine. Mentat will get us out of some troubles. <laughs> so she has to go Arakeen here. She has no siege access. Did not have Diplo for for the steel suits. Does she want to go in heavy? Yeah, she wants it. I think we have to we just go we have to go to war with Tezia. Um I think this water is too important. I don't think she's got um she hasn't got staged. Oh my god, look at that. Pyder turns up. We can actually get that as well. It's pretty hardcore. I think we go Hagger Basin. Oh, jeez, the water. That's why she's going in, because of Great Flat. I didn't think about Great Flat. Uh, we can't secure Great Flat anymore. That's that's gone. I didn't even think about that. Um, I think we go Hagger Basin. I think we got to get Pyda here. Well, we can get Pyda anyways. Pyda's great for for Beast. Yeah, I think I think Hagger Basin's fine. Let's see what we draw. But uh, we will go down. Ooh, that's neat. Hmm. It's not bad, actually. Shame we have no way of getting to fold space. It's pretty unfortunate. 
We have to fight for the water. It's too important. We have to absolutely go to war here. Urgent mission is pretty good. So the question is, what do we want to do with urgent mission? We have to be troopsayer. Uh, do we go secrets or do we go wealth? I think wealth is nice because it gives us some extra mentat. Which we're going to want, especially with Piter. Uh, I mean, I'm not worried about going anywhere with triangles at the moment, so. Uh, let's go ahead and, I uh, believe Hagger Basin there. And I think we go, I think it's, it's close. Secrets is kind of cool though. But wealth gives us extra mentat stuff, so I think that's that's fine. And we use that to get hold of Piter. Okay. And that will be paid for with our ring. But we have to fight Tezia for the water. And she won't pay for that. It also gives us, in theory, we have Highline access as well, so... So Tezia, if she wants to go Great Flat, she has to... It slows her down. But we have to just drain off as much water as humanely possible. We draw... All sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. Are those both daggers? No, one's a dagger and one's... One's the other convincing. Oof. She has to go steal suits now, this is false. But obviously, yeah, it just slows her down a little bit. Which is fine. Yep, just taking bumps. Should use that for shipping. I'm not worried about that right now. It's not particularly important for us. So, wow, we can actually go wealth in theory, but I want to get hold of Mentat. So I think we still go conspire. I think we conspire with fold space. Do I need specifically? I need to try and find this dagger. We did not find it. Which is a little sad. I don't see why it's worth me trying to draw for it. I know what I want to do with my next action. Wow, do I do stage now? I don't know. Argument says we actually go Hardy Warriors when Tezia... Well, she might go Hardy Warriors and get the water back. She might not do. Baron's considering just blocking fold space. Which I think I would probably just do. He must have infiltrate. It's kind of a bit of a weird game, this. We're kind of playing a bit weird, admittedly. But, you know, that's where we're at here. We're kind of just winging it a bit. That's seven persuasion. There's no point in going Mentat now. I was really hoping for the dagger. But if you find convincing, it's fine. We have seven. We can get power play. Um, uh, Court Intrigue has some uses. So, yeah, we have to hold. We can't draw for it. It's, it's madness. We have to hold on to that. Um. So we'll see if Teddy goes Hardy Warriors or not. She might, she might not. I think she's taking this long. I feel like she's starting to think more and more she did not draw Manufacturer. If she draws Manufacturer, I think it's... We'd probably just do it. 
I don't know. Might view it differently. How often do we just go fold space? If it goes. Well, it can't be bad going fold space. Wow. She didn't find it. Interesting. Interesting. She did not find it. <laughs> she's looking at mentating for it. I think she's legitimately going to think of mentating for this card. She's not, yeah. She's mentating for steel suits. That's exactly what's going on here. So. Some Steel Suits was bottom of the deck for her, so that's obviously what happened. There's no question there. Uh, why two bumps? Is that that's uh that's that's the bonus resource. You get the extra water. So we go Hardy Warriors. I think we put all four in as well. Oh, but I mean, there is issues with um, Piter. But I don't think it's an issue enough of the time. I think we put these in. If we can get Menta, that'd be awesome. Well, we're gonna we're gonna absolutely just throw these in here and go to war. We have to say we have to go all in on this alliance. Um, there's nothing to do here. There, there are very a lot of worlds. But the thing is, the thing is for Tezia, if she goes to war with me for this alliance, this is taking away from her other snoopers. That's the other thing to note here. That is the other thing to note. So, Power play is such a big card for us as well. We can power play steel suits. Like, we are rocking and rolling. We cannot let Tezia have that. It's just absurd. And we probably get the uh, the, the Mentat here as well, which is pretty good. So we have seven. We take power play... We take Court Intrigue. I don't know if I want Court Intrigue this game. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I don't think I want Court Intrigue. Contaminator, Truthsayer. Nah, I don't think it's good enough. Um, liaison? One more? Ah, I think we're fine for now. So, I would love to be able to power play Steel Suits in the next round or two. That'd be great. Baron, by the way, is benefiting so much off of this. It's absolutely absurd. He's got two victory points. He's got uncontested shipping. I already thought Yuna was going to cut him off from this, but he's not. So, Baron's just, just profiting here. Goes Duncan Loyal. Mm. Or Duncan Idaho. I don't know about that pick, but sure. Curious what Tessie's going to do with all this spice. Is she really going to highline here? Just to spite me? Maybe? I don't care if she does. I'm just stage. I don't see how... But she has no access. Yeah, she's got steel suits, so... I don't know what she's... I guess she just goes Carfag. Carfag's the obvious choice. I don't see why I'd pick anything else. It's 
been a weird game, this, isn't it? A very strange game. You think Yuna's got tiebreaker? Might do. Might be the stage now. If, um... I guess we're gonna see what happens. Do first, I think. I'd love to see a pass, but I don't think we'll see it. It's fine. I think we just stage now, then. It's fine. Take the point. Cool. I can live with that. Rock and roll. Hmm. Might grab. Um, do we grab it with Truth Sayer? The Swordmaster? Probably. I think, given specifically what we've drawn here. See, Mintat gone. We have to grab, obviously, we have to grab, um, we have to just grab Sword Master immediately, obviously. Um, I think we use Truth Say to do it. Get rid of the dagger. We need to try and. If we find power play and the Steel Suits gets blocked, that's a little unfortunate. But there's not much you can do about that. It just goes down however it goes down. I cannot believe... Again, it's another game where Baron Harkonnen is just getting infinite shipping. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? Pretty, pretty crazy. But whatever... So, anyways. Don't find it. You know what? I'm actually probably happy not to see power play. I think I'm okay with that. Problem is, we need a way to get garrison troops, and I don't have any way of doing that. So. Ray stop bar as well. Baron probably just takes us down, so. Yeah. Uh, Baron's the only one really benefiting from this. Usually. Um, I mean, if somehow Tessie doesn't go steel suits, then I guess we go. I guess we go uh, steel suits. We'll see what happens when it gets to us. Oof, wow, look, we have any reinforcements there. Well, bear in mind, he can't use... Now, that's interesting. So, bear in mind, Baron cannot uh, get hold of uh, the cash. So, he's actually can't get his Swordmaster right now. And in fact, he used that tells you that everything else he can't use. It's all combat and endgames and stuff. So he's just going to go research station here. 
I feel like she's going research Highline. Smuggle Fold Space is also, I think, totally fine. No one else looks like they're going to go there. But I think Yuna's going to get in there first. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll just we'll just go Steel Suits, take the Alliance. Absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. I don't see anything else particularly to do. Just, just jam it. Gets our ring active. Helps Pida. Down short on cash here. So. Baron's got some very good intrigues here. I think Baron is just is just favourite, I think, at this point. Six points, Chow Murky. That is uncontested shipping. Yeah, I mean it's the way it goes down, it's the way it goes down, right? So the question is how much does Tezia fight us here? Because all the time she spent fighting us, she's not getting her other tokens going here. So, we'll see. The only thing I've got to work out is what the heck do I do with power play? Do I just power play Hardy Warriors next round and call it a day? We've already got our Emperor point. This will help us get our Benny point. We can just diplo fold space later. So. Hagger Basin? Hagger Basin looks fine. I don't see what I could possibly deny Baron. At this point. That's the issue here. I don't see how I deny Baron really much of anything. Uh, I want to get this deck down. Let's get rid of the dagger. Like, I, I agree. Baron's got to be stopped. The problem is, I have no earthly idea how I'm meant to stop Baron at this point. Um, no, I just think he's off to the races, really. <laughs> this is... Yeah. I think this is, this is pretty over at this point. I don't think Baron's going to look back here. Um, the only way, like, if it's battle victory points and Baron commits and Tezzy goes over, I don't think I can stop Baron scoring. I think what we've got to do is just outscore Baron at this point. I think that's where we're at here. I think we somehow just have to outscore him. There's the high line. She can't. He has nothing. She's got nothing to graft it with. So, like, I don't see what we deny Baron. We could power play Emperor. I guess. That's about the only thing I can think of. Yuna has got both Talaxi points before in the round five, which is. Ridiculous. And we'll not miss Halaxy Surgeon. I mean, I, I power play wealth. Um, we have four. I think we hit the row and try and find something better. Well, Shadows is there, which solves our Bene Gesserit issue. We also get some unloads with Truthsayer, potentially. I think we grab another liaison as well. I think we need to try and find a way to get a Spice Must Flow somewhere. So, 
So, I mean, I guess that's what we could do. Um, but obviously, if Tezia then just jumps on us... Well, I mean, if Tezia Vernage jumps on us at the Fremen Alliance, then Baron wins anyways, right? That's such a bad card, Infiltrator. That is so bad for us. Well, no Talactu Master for you there. I tell you what, for five, it's not great. She'll go Siege, Reverend. The thing is, I need Blue to cooperate with us here. But Blue's got absolutely no reason to cooperate with us. Like, I mean, we've got a war over this Fremen Alliance. And Infiltrator is, is brutal here. Yeah. But if I fight Baron for Emperor, then she can fight me for Fremen. That's the issue. Especially if I use Power Play immediately. I just... If for the moment I use Power Play, I give up the Fremen Alliance is the issue. Or I just open up to her to take it. Especially now she's got Infiltrator as well. Um, I think we have to use Contaminator first. Assuming I draw it. We contaminate uh, Hardy Wolf. I think that's the way we have to play this. And I don't think there's anything else to do here. I think we have to ensure the Fremen first. It's too important. We have to just, just troop it up here. I've got to convince Tezia to stop. That's the issue. I have to convince her and tell her just to stop here. Is he going Mentat? He's going Mentat. I don't hate the move. The only thing I can do is just put it too, uh, so far out of reach that she just gives up on it, and that tells you what she is. She's she's gonna go. She's going for this alliance. That's it. So, uh, unless the only thing is that did she have a signet ring last round? I should look. I mean, I guess we have to look here. She does. She has a signet ring to draw or in hand. So hopefully she figures double water and then does something else. It's the only thing I can hope for at this point. Only thing we can hope for. Um. You have to go wealth, right? I feel we've just got to go wealth. Um, we have to get in front of this alliance. It's so ridiculous. And the only the only person that's going to stop this probably is me. Yuna's never going really there again. Inspire. What am I doing with the spice? That's a good question. The intrigue helps. Ah, sure. Means we are absolutely garrisoned up. Could have been better. Yeah. I agree, but Tezzy is sitting on a bunch of spice, and I don't think she's giving up anytime soon. So. We'll see what the situation looks like when it comes back to us here. 
But yeah, I think we have to jump him. Um, and yeah, if Tezia decides that she really wants this alliance, then Baron wins the game anyway, so I can't feel bad. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to see. How, I mean, the only way Baron doesn't win is if we outpace him. Shift away! Please shift away! Oh no, she's got the, the bump. Oh my god. What is happening here? Oh, she's got the intrigue. Wow. Well, Baron Harkonnen wins, everyone. I uh, I think I can make that fairly, fairly safely statement. She just wins, right? I don't see how he ever gets outscored now with Chow Murky. That's so unlucky. What can you do? Oh, well. Uh, what's the last two cards we're drawing? Dagger and... Experimentation. Which is pretty, pretty sad. High Persuasion. <laughs> Such a bad row for five as well. Get Secret Forces going, I guess. And then we just hope to pull Ring and... I don't know. I might have to just jam Ring in here. They like Carfag. But Tezzy's going Highliner, isn't she here? Is she going Highliner? How does she get Highliner? I know we've got Pyler, but I don't have to use him. Okay. I guess we don't have him. But yeah, this is... This is pretty foobar. Um... Oh, it was the liaison. I trashed both my daggers? I guess I did. Oh, yeah, I did buy two liaisons, didn't I? Okay, we well, got seven. It's not enough for Choam. I guess we can get Gurney. Oh, Long Reach. Mm, long Reach might have some interesting stuff going on here. Um, we still got to find a couple of points here and there. Yeah. I love how Baron uses machine culture to get artillery. Well, of course, he just get artillery and get the point. That is how confident Baron is he's going to win this game. He also is also how good the rest of his intrigues are. He is loaded with end games, I think. So I, I, I legitimately think this is a fight for second place, really, at this point. Um, do we buy Long Reach? I guess we have to buy Long Reach, right? Because we've got Shadows and Truthsayer. Although Shadows we can't use. Um, uh, we'll be looking specifically for Truthsayer and Long Reach in the same hand. But what else would I buy here? Like, we don't really need Gurney. I've got my ring. Um... But Gurney stops other people getting it. Man, secret forces, man. Yeah, I don't know if Gurney's helpful here. That is so brutal to go that far in that alliance and still lose it. That is disgusting. I think we're pretty unlucky. I think we're pretty unlucky here. So, you know, we did what we could. I can't feel too bad. Um, I don't know. Long reach. Long reach is fine. Where's this going? Spa uh, full space? Yeah. I do legitimately think Baron's got plans, by the way. So it's long reach for fancy stuff if we find it. We get the intrigue. Or we take Gurney for more rigid. 
But like our bowl is I mean with secret forces. I don't think we need Gurney. I think we take long range. And we uh we hope to get kinda lucky. Specimen. Um, I mean, to be fair, these specimens are probably just supply troops. Truth be told. So we need double victory point here. I don't want economic, preferably. We just want, like, Imperial Basin or uh, something. Just a flat, free... A flat two-pointer. Um, and then we just kind of work it out from there, basically. In an ideal world, we win back-to-back -back conflicts. It's very hard to see how we do that. But who knows? We trashed a few cards out of our deck. We've got no lines. And we have Piter, which gives us some hybrid options with High Council. This is... Them going to war here is very fascinating. And to be honest, this ain't bad for me. This is less intrigues out there that can cause you a problem. Like, what? Uh, blackmail gone? That's a huge one. Baron sacks off the Emperor influence, which is what he has to do. It's good for us. That's oh, Grand Vision. Oh, my God. Grand Vision. That's not what I wanted to see. I kind of wanted Tezia to feel she had the high line, and we just blow her off the board. This is kind of un not great. But we don't have our ring, either. Wow, this is, um... Complicated. Did I take a troop off when I last used Pyre? I don't know. It's been too long. Um... See what happens. So Baron Harkonnen's weakness is that fact that he has no action economy. That's the only thing that's keeping us in the game here is the fact that Baron sacked off his Swordmaster for the reinforcements. And that he is dying on action economy. So he's going to get hold of the Bene Gesserit Alliance and he's going to need some luck here. But he is absolutely dying on action economy, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, Tezzy can now just rock and roll here at Hardy at Research Station and stuff. I'm so annoyed we lost that alliance. That's really, really brutal for us. So, yeah, I know what I want to do. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. We'll see. And depends what unit does, really. I expect her to... Um... Yeah, invasion ship seems reasonable. To get shipping in. Get a load of troops. Has Unimuratani picked up rapid mobilization? 
Hmm. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Well, either way, we are, um... Where's she bump? She's got to go spacing, right? Or does she go for Bene Gesserit? I think she's got to go Bene Gesserit and challenge. Emperor, really? Emperor is madness. Emperor is, I'm just going to give Baron the victory here. I think it's going to be Bene Gesserit. You have to try. No one else is in a position to stop this alliance. You, you've got you to gotta do this. We're off to Mentat. As we continue, what a crazy deck. Um, we go spice. What a, what is this hand? I don't know why he's uh, pointing it there. I lose a troop. What an absurd hand we have here. What does my garrison look like? Don't bother pause it. it doesn't matter. I, I, I had six, I have five. We're good, carry on. <laughs> well, it won't do from, from, from Garrison. There's no there's no button lose a troop. So again, I know what I would want to do. I don't know if I'm ever going to manage it, though. Tessia Vernis is in a bit of a weird spot here. Like, she was obviously gearing up for it for it being the double here. The problem is, is that Baron Harkonnen can well win this match if he wins this conflict. It's hard to see him winning the conflict. He's so far behind on action economy. I know he's got artillery, but, like, it's he might have some backup. But he has no resources. So, unless he's got ambush, vicious talent sort of thing, it's it's very hard to see how he... Um, or he has a way of manufacturing a Talaxu point. Like, he's got Breakthrough and uh, Specimen. In which case, game's over. And Unless Yuna... Yuna then has to bomb Bene Gesserit. So... Um. Yeah, Baron's just been allowed everything, really. So I can't feel too bad. It's the way it goes down sometimes. There are actually worlds where Chome Delegate is actually more valuable for us than Spice's Flow, which is very interesting. I think she just grabs tons of spice here. She goes great flat for Highliner. Looks pretty straightforward to me. Uh, I think we have to go... Do we go Selective? To try to find Long Reach? Slash uh, Ring? I think so. Is there a world I get two Spice Plus Flows here? We're at what? 2, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13. There's some weird worlds we find Cho and a Spice Plus Flow. It's not impossible. But I think we have to we have to hit this. It's too important. Hmm. How have we not found it? That's pretty insane. And not the ring either. Wow. No ring, no long reach. That is... Um... 
That is... That is nuts. How does that even happen? How does that even happen, man? Grief. That is absolutely nuts. Okay, what's our persuasion? Trying to work out what to do here. We got 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. I think I might just grab Choam. I think Choam might actually be better for us here. I love how Tessie just limps the troop in, like she's ever going to get the spice here. This is going Hardy Warriors. Wait, hold on, wait, didn't you, what you, do you not play Jamis? What are you throwing away here? Well then, that needs to go there. Okay. Steel suits Hagger Basin. Or do we just gamble at secrets here? Show them and in the shadows and hope that it all kind of works out. We have to assume that we have to assume that uh, the problem is like I think yeah we, we think we go for Chom. I think Chom is better here. Um, I guess we go secrets and see what we find. There's no harm in secrets. Sometimes you find interesting things. Sometimes you find interesting things. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Bear in mind, Tezia can highline whenever she wants next round. She's an infiltrator, so um, yeah, this is this is only good for Baron. All of this. I guess we have to go steel suits with this, and we will get the second Talaxu point. Wait, is this game gonna end this round? Eight, nine. No, I don't think I can end it this round. I don't think I can score three points. Is there any way to score three points here? I can get the Talaxu point. And we can get the Highliner point. But we only get the Highliner point by getting Chum. If I get Chum, I can't get Spice Must Flow. Is there any way to get it with using shadows? Um, to like still get the Talaxu point. I mean, at that point, you just kind of hold on. That's one. That's two. And that's three, right? So that's the Talaxu. It's got to be done that way. Um, yeah, and I think we just get ahead of Baron. I mean, if we threaten Bene Gesserit, he can't threaten us at Emperor. 
And there are worlds where Yuna beats him. I don't know how many worlds there are, but there are worlds it happens. And intrigues are intrigues, right? Yeah. We do get another intrigue from the uh, from this as well. Um, so we reveal. You're going to get a bunch of intrigues here. Maybe we find something interesting. Harvest Cells is not the worst, but it doesn't work with Gruesome. So it actually doesn't do a whole lot for us here. Okay, let's go show him. We get another intrigue. Expedite doesn't help. That is a great shame. Uh, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. I've got three. G-Minip? Let's grab G-Minip. I think we have to just gruesome now, right? We just got gruesome now. Blue either has it or doesn't. Alright. So, green's got to protect the alliance, obviously. I didn't draw anything to beat it. It's fine. It protects our alliance, I guess. So, is what it is. We get some spice. Um, Maybe there's the... I don't see if we ever get the shipping. I don't think Expedite's going to do anything for us, so... It's, uh, I would... I would play better than this. I mean, we've not played bad. God. Just can't draw a long reach of anything. Just can't draw it. Not for lack of trying. Not for lack of trying. So, Tezia can highlight whenever she wants. She has Infiltrator. So, um... Tezia wins this conflict pretty much every day. We haven't drawn anything useful. Um, do we go snoopers and gamble? God, the only thing that I can go snoopers with is signet ring. God, it's so bad. I can't even get spice must flow. Uh, experimentation gives me the intrigue draw. I could smuggle an expedite to get the spice out of it as well. We get rid of harvest cells. I guess that's better than nothing. Uh, long reaches are going to get revealed for the intrigue at this point. I do like the idea of Sonic Snoopers. I, it's, it's almost impossible to get this conflict. Um, we would have to somehow, we'd have to beat Tezia, who's going Highliner. And she can't be stopped, she's got Infiltrator, so. And she's got Infiltrator and her Diplo, I think. So, uh, Baron's going to score a 10th point because of research, which we can't stop. Uh, and I think Baron's loaded on endgames anyway. Well, I think it's, I'd have to commit absolutely everything. Hardy Warriors. Probably she just highlines. She just outpaces me on, on stuff. I don't think she's got any particular combat, but we don't either. Tezzy's played a weird game, to be honest. Um, but, I mean, if we finish second, I can live with second. I think Tezzy's going to go up and down and grab Snoopers anyway, so I don't think it's really... Ooh, it's not even relevant. I don't think I have any outs, truthfully. Um, I don't think I can get to 11. That's good. <laughs> like, I think Baron has just won this game. It's it's just... There's, 
he's just had he's had too much on the table so um but i just don't see how i can yeah she grabs that which makes sense um but i'd rather go carfag or hardy warriors first i don't think she can go to both I don't think she can go to both. Yeah. I think I have to go Carfag first, though. I think it's too important to get the Intrigue here. The only advantage is that she's sacked a turn off to grab shipping. Yeah, you're going there. That's fine. I think we go Carfag. I don't think she has Hardy Warriors and Highliner. So I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go Carfag because we can. That intrigue does absolutely nothing for us. We have nothing useful, which is pretty sad. Yeah, Baron, Baron, Baron has won this game. He's not he's not catchable anymore. Like he's also got this as well. So I think we're just playing for second. Like we have someone's got to score twelve. No one's scoring twelve. So Baron has won. We're, we're playing for second here. Um, realistically, like I can't get to twelve. Uh, is there any intrigues I could even? I mean. I think Baron's got plans anyways. I'm pretty sure he's loaded with endgame. He's not, not using for fighting. He would have done by now, so... Um, yeah, I think we're just in the fight. We're just fighting for a second. Um, I guess if Hardy Warriors is still there, we jam it. Um, and then we just try to get to Imperial Basin, I guess. But I think Baron goes there anyway. But I'm pretty sure Tezia can't go Hardy Warriors and Highliner. I think she's only got one faction access. For both. Yeah, she has to Highline with this. She doesn't... I don't think she has... Um, I don't know if she's got Hardy Warriors access. I don't know. But yeah, there, there are no outs. The, 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 game is, the game is over, so... You know, it's just, it just is what it is. Um, you know, I, don't, I think we've played, I think we've played fine. But unfortunately, this, this kills us. Like, we got nothing else to do, I guess. Just chuck it in. Um, and hope we get lucky. But you know the 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 the, ba the Baron's won the match, so we're just we're just basically trying to stop Tezia from getting second here. If we win, we get second. I guess that's the best we can do. I mean, if Baron gets free combat victory points. It's like whatever. Ugh. We'll see if we can get second. It'd be nice. I kind of don't want you going to Hag Imperial Hagger Basin if we can help it. Problem is, she gets the 20 strength. I mean, I just have to hope to find something. I don't know what she's doing. I don't think she knows what she's doing. As I say, I'm, I'm more worried about feeling like I played all right than whether I win or lose. Um, and I feel like I played all right. I don't think I've made anything, any particular errors this game. I think we played as about as well as we could have done. 
Um, no one did anything about Barons, and so he just kind of wins the game. Just chuck him in. Second wave would be pretty huge if we could find that. The second wave been played. Cannon turret's been played. Second wave's out there. I'd take second wave. Yeah, the the um, the Tezia opting to fight me continuously for the front. Like, I get why she did it, but it's pretty brutal that she decided to do that. Like that, that really cost it. So, does she have the access? No, she's got Carfan access, which she'll go to. There's nothing else to do. Gets two intrigues. Um, and then we just go uh, Imperial Basin. Or Smuggling. Cycle Intrigue out. Get another one with this. And maybe we win the combo. Yeah. I don't think Expedite really matters. There's there's nothing really to be gained. Like, I can go there and get a Spice. No. No, you can't. No, negotiators are stuck at X. So she can only put in the two. I didn't see that, actually. So she gets two. Um, we just go experimentation. We get two. Um, and whoever wins, wins, basically. And she gets another one. I say a lot of this doesn't matter in a way. Like Baron's won, we know Baron's won, so we just we're just fighting for second. That's all we're doing here. I'm pretty sure if we don't win, we lose. Oh, you did have charm shares as well. Um, you know, I don't think there's anything else we could have done this game. I'm pretty happy. Like we've been a little bit victim of card draw. Got that early. Never been able to use it. I mean, we drew basically our entire deck, and that was the bottom, as well as our ring last combat, which is pretty bad. So. Yeah, might as well. Like, we, know, we know Baron's won, so. <laughs> I'll just cycle him. Tezzy is not getting to, to 11 or 12. It's just not possible. She's not getting to 12. No one's getting to 12. There's, there's, there's just no way. Unless she draws, like, the most insane set of intrigues you've ever seen. Like, you know. It just doesn't really happen. But again, I'm happy. I don't think I've done really... I think I'm happy about how I played. Um, Baron got... Was unopposed. So, Baron wins. Yeah. But yeah, we just go Hager Base. We just go Imperial Basin and uh I mean you gotta go. Oh, she had Highlander options. Hmm. Well a bit late now. Da, 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 
do, do, do. Hello. Do 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 Go get those troops for that, uh, for those tiebreakers, everyone. Ignore the fact he's got Chow Murky. Has he got second wave? Yeah. Doesn't matter. It's, uh, so it's, sec it's third place for us, by the looks of it. Um, there's nothing else to do this game. So, shrug. You don't worry about buying Baron. You've you've won the game. It's fine. <laughs> nah, I mean, no one's getting the twelve. So, uh, if you can score five points, then good on you. I'm already I'm already beating this conflict, so. Uh, I can't do anything. That's what happens when you're just rushing through this round, just getting over with. I, I got nothing, so yeah, take it, kids. Uh, so yeah, we did all we could do this game. Um, Grand Vision was brutal. That was absolutely brutal time for us. Nothing you can do about that. Um, I think we played as well as we could, so. You know, shrug. Alright, take it, kids. So, good job, Yellow. Nothing we could do there. Did what we could. Uh, we're going to do one more tonight. What the heck? Uh, nothing to do tomorrow. It's, what's it, Sunday? Yeah. I need to be up late tomorrow anyways, thinking about it. Yeah, so we'll do one more tonight. At least we won a game on the stream, which I haven't done for a while. <laughs> so. Ugh. I probably shouldn't be hosting this. I'm kind of in the wrong part of the world for this. We're here. One second, I need to turn something off. Uh, not that one.
Yeah, sorry about that. I had to sort something out there. Ah. Yeah, maybe how we played. We rolled our dice. We didn't roll well. Sometimes what it comes down to. Sometimes that's what it comes down to. pieces yeah I'm happy I think ultimately if you play it right and you roll some dice and you know the dice don't go your favor I don't think you can feel too bad about it I think all you can do is play what's in front of you and you know I think we I think we played what was in front of us about as about as well as we could have done You know, like we find any intrigue, like to take away from Baron or, you know, Baron doesn't win the conflict. Baron winning Grand Vision is absurd. I, I mean, like if we find Ring, he doesn't win it. There's so many ways he doesn't win it and he did. So when you're in, you're in. So, yeah. That's cool. Messages, apologies. I need to check something quickly. Sorry, folks, just quickly trying to read something. We're just waiting for our fourth player, and we'll get ourselves underway. This will be the last one of the night. For sure. Okay. I guess we have our four. Someone didn't put anything in there, so... I guess that's four. Someone should have clicked the LFG. Whoever didn't, please do, because otherwise I'm going to get confusion. That'd be appreciated. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just close it. It's fine. I'll just close it. It's fine. Uh... Right, anyways, I guess we're going to get rock and rolling here. This will be the, the older rules. Let's see what happens. We are in blue. Shit. Let's go. All right. So blue seat, second position for us. <laughs> you don't need to retract your your messages, Noodle. There's there's no need to do that, buddy. Unnecessary. All right, let's have a look then. So, same position. This and espionage are pretty good. Both of these got chose very quickly. Uh, Imperium Row is curious. Power plate, still see manufacturer is very scary. A priority, truth sayer. Techs are okay. A bit pricey. I 
definitely want to play Tezia. I play Yuna? I don't play Yuna very much. I don't know if this is a good board for Yuna. Face Orange Initiate helps a lot, though. What the heck? Let's go for Yuna. I don't play it very much. We're here for for practice, right? So let's practice some, some leaders that I don't really play a lot. That's why I picked Helena. Although I I didn't I didn't expect Um I didn't expect Helena to win. Yeah, so this. Beast, Ilbarn, Tezium one. Okay. Fine. Alright. And our opening hand is that. Okay. Wow. Okay. So it is all happening here. So, it is the Mixed Smuggling Skirmish, and Tezia opens up with Hardy Warriors. Alright, we are we are off to the races. Um, I guess we have to go Fold Space, because our hand is that bad. <laughs> I, I was probably ready to go Wealth. But I guess we just gotta do that. It's gonna be a weird, weird game this, isn't it? Steel suits. Man, what do I do here? I actually don't know what to do here. I feel kind of remiss just letting Ilbarn have two coins on the house. Do we reveal for power play? Or steel suits? I don't know. I feel that steel suits is probably good for us. And it just gets it out of the way. Let's take the reveal. I think it's steel suits. I think we're going to struggle to get the alliance but it's fine it just gives us water in the long run which is obviously just good for us um so yeah let's go steel suit manufacturer it's just a good card your one goes wealth anyways <laughs> Some things never change. My God. Sorry, kids. I love that. Your barn's still going to well. That's pretty funny. I mean, if Baron's got five, he should also reveal and take power play. I really, I really want to face Dancer Initiate and we just didn't draw any experimentations. So next round is Fold Space Shipping. Um, Tez is going to cut us off reasonably soon. So obviously he's not great. No way is Beast going over the top here. Beast is going over the top here! Surely not. No. Ooh, Tezzy didn't use a ring to shift for spacing. Okay. Well, this is this is gonna be a weird game. Tezzy did have five, and she was clearly going for Steel Suit's manufacturer. Because she didn't take power play, so that makes you feel a bit happy about grabbing that. Ilbarn punts at three. I guess playing coupling's all right. Wow. That is very notable to see that Tezia Vernius has not played her ring here. That is very, very important. She's the one most likely to cut us off from shipping. And it means if she's not done that, then that's safe. Oh, man, beast. That's tough with both daggers. Oof. 
I can see why he thought about it. That sucks to have both daggers and to not have anything to do with it. This kind of sucks. So it's going to be a boring round for us. Nothing interesting. Uh, we hope that the combat isn't like giving water. That would be pretty sad. We do not want Imperial, ba Imperial Basin. Um, don't think I'd want Guild Bank Red either. Happy with you, the other two. Ilbarn's going to get Swordmaster immediately, which is obviously kind of nuts. What are you going to do? The terrible purpose is fine. So this is all going to be pretty standard. Ilbarn ships, Swordmasters, uh, Beast, Great Flat Conspires, I think. Um, I don't know what Tezzy is doing. I imagine Beast Great Fat conspires. Yep. You can go hang a base and conspire, actually. So. Uh, we won't be getting Swordmaster for a while. That's fine. You gotta love it when, like, I need to tell you what three, pe three people's moves are all gonna be. <laughs> That's always a good feeling, isn't it? Tezia might go steel suits, I guess. She feels like she's got to fight me for it. She must have got wealth. Just for money. Which I hate. Obviously pretty boring stuff for us. Um, I will want to get hold of Initiate. I might actually go for Guild Administrator, specifically because we're going to have shipping for a while, and I can use this to trash stuff. I don't really get Guild Administrator that much anymore. Uh, but I do actually think there's some value in it nowadays. Uh, in a situation like this. Like, in, in Rise of X, much better card. And obviously, base game, Guild Administrator also pretty damn good. Uh, immortality, it's obviously not too useful nowadays, but for our specific situation... I actually reckon it's alright. So we'll go ahead and pick up Initiate and the Guild Admin. There you go. Have, um, have, uh, Infiltrator, Mr. Ilbarn. He is big favorites early. He is massive benefactor of these first two rounds. He's got immediate sword. Oh, also, however, ah, Ilban's got a problem. He has to give up his action if he wants Infiltrator. And I think he will do so. Or he might just go Hardy Warriors and take the conflict damage, which is also just fine. How's he look at Hardy Warriors there? What? How do you not go Hardy Warriors? Like, I know you've got your dagger, so you just shoot... You, you, uh, Ilbarn's being greedy here. Ilbarn's just hoping that that beast does not have an intrigue for combat. That's a very greedy, though. Very greedy. I've got to say, the absolute state of that um, that uh, card, that row rip. Beast is so lucky that he's not peeled off, like, that. Hit. this is the row. That is absolutely insane. Tezzy's really unlucky. But she has her own atomics. Absolute state of that. Um, so we've got a bit of faction access. Uh, face Dancer, Steel Suits. We've got obviously got our Fold Space cards. So we're pretty good for that. Uh, we've got a lot of flexibility. Uh, do we want to get any techs early? I don't think so. I don't think there's a reason to go up and down for Chow Murky. Obviously, it's going to be a while until we get hold of um, our 
It's going to be a while until we get hold of Swordmaster. So we'll just have to live with going Mentat for a bit. And that is not the hand I was really looking for. But oh well. That's, that's an insane fight, by the way. What has happened here? How does Ilbarn go steel suits and not Hardy Warriors? Crazy. I mean, it's a good result for us, I guess. No victory points. Just a load of, load of resources out. I guess I can live with that. Guild Bank Raid is next. This is not bad for us. We're still not going to get our Swordmaster anytime soon. So... Hmm. I might actually use our ring here with shipping. Ooh, that's actually kind of a sneaky little move. So the argument is we use our signet ring. We cash in the shipping, gives us six coins up to seven. And then we cash in the signet ring itself. And then we use that as a double bump on spacing. That looks pretty tasty. I like that. It gives us our alliance, gives us some more money. I think that's a kind of kind of fun move. And it gives us enough money. I mean, Ilban's going to get hold of Mentat, so I'm not worried about that. What in the... Great. Uh, hold on. Fremen is also an actual shout. Could go Fremen to jam it. That's also not a terrible idea. I have got Manufacturer. Might need to be some turns redone. But I don't know. I mean, I could also just jam Fremen. The problem is, is I need to go up and down. I have to get the spacing alliance for. Hmm, I've got to do. I've got to get some timing here. How often does Tezia beat me to Swordmaster? Hmm. Interesting. So I've got to calculate. Does Tezia Vernius have access to Swordmaster in two rounds? She, she in two actions. Because I can go up and down shipping. I can basically and get... And that will give me... Leave me with four coins. Like I know I've got steel suits, but it's more just for the water. I think the money's better here. I know, what you're, I know what you're saying about, like, double Fremen bump. Mm, it does open up steel suits, though. Ilbon goes... Uh, Mentat. Beast is going... Swordmaster. Where does Tezia go? Yeah, it's, it's money conflict which is complicating this. If I can get second place, we know Beast doesn't have anything, but he might do some crazy stuff. I think just going the money is better here. So it's uh, down and up. And then we cash that in. Now, this can't be bad. And if we can get second place, like Swordmaster, it's there. That's great. Yeah. Well, I only have one action. But yeah, I, I just think this is this is fine. And I, there are worlds I still get the steel suits anyways. 
Um, you know, as I said, like I'd love, obviously, I'd love to get the alliance, but it's not a big deal. We might actually not even play Steel Suit's Manufacturer. I might actually even reveal. Bear in mind, Face Down's Initiate counts as Fremen Bond. So I can actually reveal this and get the two spice. Which is, at this point of the game, that's huge. That is really big. So, if Steel Suit stays, I might do that. Tessie doesn't have much reason to go with Steel Suits. Looks pretty terrible. Like, she wants to get a troop in. Also, Ilbar didn't go didn't go there? Wow, Ilbar went smuggling, so Beast gets that. Beast is going to be good for the conflict. She's got to go Carfag or Arakeen. Maybe Siege? Wouldn't hate it, but yeah, like, uh, I don't need to play those. I think I'd rather get the spice here. So... Uh, let's go steel suits. Let's not use manufacturer and let's get hold of the two spice. Uh, am I buying anything? Does the dagger matter? I don't think the dagger matters here. I think I'd rather have the buying power. I don't think the dagger really matters. Orban's just going to blitz for industrial espionage. He's just going to play solitaire. Tends to work. Man, getting Steel Suits Manufacturer on reveal Fremen Bond third round is absolutely bizarre. I don't know that I've ever seen this. I think this is a this is a first. Very strange. I don't think Tessie's gonna get any money out of this. Yoshi Drill turns up. Hmm. He might have to hit the row here. Yeah, just the three. It's a pretty hideous row for three. Uh, I think it's worth a spin. Reading Way has some interesting options. Pure Spy is not bad for us. We have no intrigues. Um, I think Pure Spy is fine. By the time we get round to it, we should have a third action. Weirding Way lets us do some shipping and taking Mentat, though. Gives us some very unorthodox moves. Also, we've not bought any triangles. I think Weirding Way is slightly better here. Ilbarn gets from politics. Oh, no, we didn't have enough for it. Okay, we're not getting Swordmaster then. I didn't know if he had both his daggers. Yeah, it's not a big deal. I think buying the card is more important than a couple of coins here. Tezia might not also get anything at all, so... Tezia should probably go well. I think he is arming up for Highliner. Like, he doesn't need the money. It seems an absurd Highliner, but... I think I would consider doing it. His hand's pretty good, though. He might go Selective, maybe. Conspiring again is kind of weird because it's like, what are you doing with the cash? The intrigues are always good. He's got a dagger in hand, so he doesn't want to trash that. Otherwise, he would have probably gone selective. So, so it's uh, it's a couple of coins for us, probably. Wow, he didn't have any daggers. Wow. Okay, are we all just gonna get four? And Yuna gets and and Tezzy gets nothing. That'd be insane, wouldn't it? Tezzy comes out with the ambush. Who knows? 
It's a strange conflict here. Beast has nothing to gain, really, by taking any further action here. So there's no point in him using any cards here. Like, what does it matter to him? Everyone gets four. If you're looking at ties, we, we would all get second currently. And Tezia would not get anything. I mean, if you think that's worth it, sure. Spending, I mean, I guess he must have, like, uh, demand respect or something. That's the only reason you would do that, right? <laughs> to the victor. There's no reason you would do it otherwise, so. Anyways, Tezia. Bought victory point. It's all money. <laughs> If you if you've got something to go with it, fine. Do what you want. Whatever. Don't matter to me. That's our hand. That is kind of a sad hand. Um, we probably have to go Menta here. Yeah, I gotta try and find Diplo. Wow, that's a brutal hand. One, two, three, eight. So it's just Diplo and cards I bought. What the heck else have I bought? Okay. So Beast is just gonna do this, so I guess that's fine. Uh depends if Tezia allows it. Nah. Tezier will get in front, so that's fine. Um, whatever. Uh, so, we have a choice. I think we actually go up here, and now we start targeting Tex. We go Carfag first, actually. Um, sure, let's go Carfag first. Hmm. That actually kind of helps in a way. Now, nah, Arakin's, it's no point. I'm going to use my. I only get one action. So, it's fine. So, I think plan is we're going to double bump here up. Uh, down and up next round for Chow Murky, and then up and down the round afterwards, uh, and that's going to be probably all our shipping this game. Beast playing interesting, but okay. We will not take the conflict, but that's fine. I'm just here for the water and just charging people. It's fine. Uh, do I want to get hold of unnatural reflexes ahead of Ilbarn? Mm. I think so. I think more triangle axis is always. Don't good. do it. Don't do it. No. Rock and roll here. A windfall's nice means I don't have to worry about cashing out. Well, I mean, it, it's free. It's free coins, so that helps pay for for rings. It's half a ring, basically, windfall for us, which is not bad. Windfall's a lot better for you than most other people. Yeah, there's absolutely no need to cash in here. We'll look. We'll take Chow Murky, which is always good. Uh, we can be spice neutral as well. Uh, actually, no. I think I'd still take the coins. Obviously, we still need to get Swordmaster, and I want to use the ring as much as possible. So, I think I'm also happy we didn't go particularly heavy for um, Fremen. I think that was going to be pretty ambitious. 
So, but yeah, I think we I think we take our natural reflexes. Um, I think it's important to kick that out. Yeah. Another reason for us to just jam this alliance. Does the old barn want to fight us for this? I guess he feels he's got to. Okay, I guess. So we can just we can just jam the alliance and our ring will supplement uh, elsewhere. If we draw our ring actually next round, which we could do, we could actually just lock it immediately, which I would 100% do all day. So, you know, that'd be cool. Uh, what is our next hand, anyways? I actually legit don't know. I have no idea what our next hand is at all. I don't really have much of an idea. We know, we know Beast is going in, um, at, like, wherever. Steel suits, I believe. If you can. But Tezzy might. I don't know, Tezzy's not going there. No, it's fine. So, uh, grab that, grab that, uh, free, oh wow, I just peeled off guild in person, that's a little scary, uh, free, I think we take Imperial Spy now, we need to find a trip there, peel off shifting, oh my god, I mean this is one we just want to play safe with the Alliance and just not lose it, that'd be nice. Just jam it as, as as safely as possible. Ilbunch is going to draw as many cards as he can, I think, here. Probably. Guild Impersonate is a kind of a weird one for him. In that he kind of wants to use... He wants to take it because of his alliance stuff. I guess he's going to steal suits. Which is not what Beast wanted to see. I think Beast wanted to get there himself. I don't know if he had the access, but I think he wanted to get there. We're not. We're not. Obviously, we're just here for the water. It's it's all we're here for is the water. Um, for probably research station to get our natural reflexes open. I would believe. But yeah, windfall really helps. It means we can we can be a lot more aggressive with our ring whenever we find us. That's that's nice. Uh. Oh, he'd infiltrate her. Of course he did. I guess he's going to carve up instead. That's also fine. Yeah, he's, he's totally fine. Um, So... Oh, can't say I haven't grinded. Full games. We've got them pretty quick as well. We've been, only been streaming, what, five hours? We're about three and a half games done. It's not bad. Ugh. Ugh. I think he'll put in the extra troop. I think he's a little... He's a touch worried. Nah, he's going to agree. That's fine. I was like, we were never going to win machinations. I just wanted to get hold of the water. Um, and of course, the money is also good for us. So I'm happy to spend the troops. I don't know who's favourite here. I think Beast has got a lot of potential. Uh, if Tezia can hybrid effectively, she probably wins. Um, if obviously if Ilban takes her alliance, then that's obviously catas catastrophic. But it's, it's hard to see how he does that. I'm ahead of him. I've got shipping access. Uh, unless he flukes into that. But we know we have to lock it. We have to, Whatever he picks, we have to lock this alliance. Um... Whatever happens, we know that's uh, that's forced. So if unless he flukes into that, which there are worlds he does, that's pretty bad though. Um, I mean he's buying a lot of cards. I don't think he should be buying that many, but whatever. Uh, 
No one else is doing anything this round. So I don't know what we're... Yeah. Of course, great time to find guild admin. Man, that's all the cards you have. Wow, what a hand this is. This is absolutely atrocious, this hand. Can you believe this hand? Man. That is grim. How are these the last four cards? Full space, full space, diplo, guild admin. That is insane. That is insane. So you remember what I said about Guild Admin trashing out some of our weaker cards? Yeah. About that. So, obviously, it's all pretty standard. Oh, come on! How do I find that? What? Um, that's insane. Murky. Ooh. Okay. Could have been worse. So that's doing nothing. Wow. We have been unlucky here. My grief, they've been. This is an unbelievably ridiculous draw. Good God. Cannot believe this hand. That is absurd. At least Chow Murky was awesome for us. So that's nice. But what a brutal, brutal hand this is. Uh, I gotta hope to find... I don't even know what I'm looking for. Research? Am I looking for experimentation here? I don't know what I'm looking for. I have no idea. This is just an absolute absurd hand. And I think we're very unlucky. I'd take ring. I think ring's like the best thing I can find here. It seems so absurd to... We have to get hold of our Swordmaster, obviously. So we have to do that first. So the whole idea of getting Administrator was to trash other stuff. It feels so bad to take, have to guild Admin and just trash itself. That seems so terrible. I also think Yorban's going... He might do. Yeah, just a absolutely brutal draw this. There's nothing we can do about it. Very sad. Um, but I think fold space is is well, I mean the problem is the other two might might absolutely screw us here. He has to jam it, surely. Okay, well, I mean he has shifting allegiances, so I mean I'm still jamming it, but like we could be in some I don't know, we'll see. I mean, I guess we just hit it. It's just, it's so brutal. Only room for Liet Kynes is an option. And I guess it's a not a bad way of making the most out of this hand. It's an absolutely grim hand, this. Um, is there any way Orban takes the alliance if I do it? Expedite. Um... Bribery, finesse. There are some intrigues we just lose this alliance to. Because he has so many cards. I guess I can play Guild Admin and just trash Recon. It's just a horrible spot. 
just absolutely blows this this hand. It's so good, and I can't do anything with it. I mean, there's not a lot you can do about it. It's just unlucky. Um, I mean, the force speed card's good for later. I think just just taking the alliance, just being safe, is 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 correct. There's nothing wrong with this. Um, and yeah, let's get rid of let's get rid of recon. I'm not gonna buy for it. Uh, this is like my fourth match. There's 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 no way. But yeah, just be safe with full space. Lock it up. He's got shifting. Just take no chances. Call it a day. And just accept that you've been pretty, pretty unlucky here. Pretty unlucky here. I do reckon Ilbarn is still favourite. Um, although we do have Choam shares, which helps. Windfall helps us with our ring. But man, that was a gross, gross draw. And we're not even guaranteed to find... Um, we are far from guaranteed from finding shipping access. Which will just further cement the pain. Beast goes to spy satellites, which... I mean, you've got to do that. So Beast is set. I'd say we're uh, not looking too great. There goes Leitz. Do I buy anything here? I don't think so. Do I use Rapid? Uh, man, your beast is so built up here. This is absurd. I think Beast, Beast is also a huge threat. I, I don't see how he went. I think rapid mobilization here is unnecessary. I don't think buying anything helps us here either. So we'll just um, we'll just relax and just feel kind of bad about life. We have not even made any Talaxu progress yet. This was meant to do that for us. Yeah. This is all going horribly, horribly wrong for us, basically. Um... I mean, there's nothing we can do about this. You know, if we're just victim of bizarre card draw, we're victim of bizarre card draw. Um, and Beast looks like he's going to just absolutely crush this, so... Eh. Uh, all we can do is play to strengths. Um, which is... I guess we just shut our eyes and go Fremen. And hope it all works out. Well, obviously, we don't find still suits, which obviously would have been pretty useful. We can do. Um, so. Up and down. Let's get the beetle. That. Cash. Fremen. All pretty straightforward for us. Please stop pause an interesting one for us. Yeah. It's the only way your button doesn't go for uh, thingy. Everyone's just going to spice up here. Pretty standard stuff. What room am I taking this Talaxu track? I have no idea. How on earth am I actually going to get um, Talaxu point here? 
I have no earthly idea. Um, I guess we go Mentat. Might as well, right? I think we Mentat of our Signet Ring. Because we might find a card we want. There's a few. If we don't find a card we want, then, you know... Some days it's just not your day. And uh, this is one of those. The only card I didn't want to see was that. We are not fated to win this by the looks of things. Just our card draw is, is abysmal. So. Yeah. I can't even look to go high council because of Chome shares and my ring. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty comical. Pretty comical draw. I might not have any way to go with this dagger. This is the absurd part. I might not even be able to get all these actions out. Absolutely ridiculous draw. <clears throat> I mean, I could go High Council, but, like, I want to use my ring. I need my ring to, like, help me with Fremen. Help me with getting these other faction bumps. Because everything went into spacing, so I had to absolutely jam it. So. I mean, I could go High Council, but what am I buying from the row? Am I ever likely to get hold of... Um... Spice in the future round, maybe. I don't know. I also have the additional issue of where is future money coming from? Because we're not shipping anymore, I don't think. <laughs> well, I mean, Beast and Tezia aren't making any attempt to try and cut it off. So, you know. Like, whatever, I guess. Disposal facility. That is the one place I didn't want him to go. How does he how does she go there? That is so sickening. That's so brutal. Um I guess we just go disposal and just trash a load of stuff. There's nothing else to do anymore. It's just an absolutely ridiculous handless. Um I guess at this point I might as well just get rid of good admin. Just an absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous round this. We have been just nothing we can do about it. So, you know, I can't feel, I can't feel bad about this. I can't feel bad about it. We've done no, we've done naught wrong here. Just been victims of absurdity, really. That's the way it goes. Uh, what do we buy with six? Carry on? Nah, that seems absurd. Fopter? Fopter's not so good because I've got rapid. I guess I just grab landing rights. Yeah. 
this this is looking very distant from us. I don't even think we've done anything wrong this game. I think we've done everything that we should do. We've just been pretty turgidly screwed. Pretty turgidly screwed. So, you know. The only thing I've got going for us is that we have Rapid. And that we somehow win a combat with that. But I don't think that's likely. I got no combat or anything, really. Um, I don't know if Red goes shuttle fleets with the cash in. Or does he go for flagships? I have no idea. I haven't even got the Throne Alliance, which feels also pretty bad. Yeah. That's it. I can't I can't feel bad about any of this. Like we've done We've done not really anything wrong here. Just two bizarre hands of card draw. And that has crippled us. Whoops, I'm gonna do that. See how bad it's gonna be. Can <laughs> we pull it anyways? Okay. Injured Beast just wins uncontested. I mean, what is going on here? Oh, well. Oh, well. So... Um, it's Hardy Warriors slash Fremen. Grand Vision is the conflict, which is, I don't even know if that's how good that is for us or not. Pretty diabolical, I think. I don't know if the extra time really helps us here. I I don't really see how this game gets saved at this point. It looks so so foregone. <laughs> yeah, he's going still with suits, surely. It's automatic. He's got offload stuff. I mean, can you believe this? Can you believe this? Amazing. So Steel Suit is now not doing anything for us either. Um, I don't really see what there is to do at this point. This is pretty... Pretty messed up. I mean, we have to go Hardy War. I, man, it's absolutely grim. I guess we go Hardy. Oh, my jeez, what do I do here? Weirding face dancer for Hardy Warriors, and then grab Mentat. I don't see what else there is. 
I think we're largely just kind of uh, just throwing dudes in really at this point. Experimentations. Okay, I guess. That's pretty much what we have to do, which is kind of sad. I have no idea if Beast decides to highlight this conflict. I have absolutely no clue. I have no clue. I mean, I think we're just kind of pretty much screwed here at this point. I don't think there's anything else to do. It's just, we've just been so unlucky. There's not a lot you can do when you run this bad. Um, there's just nothing you can do. Uh, I guess re research station, I guess and research and then use I'm not using full space though it's just everything's everything sucks here everything sucks I can't even go conspire is there any way to get like more troops without it being obvious that I'm not, I don't know what the hell to do it's just I want it, I want the spice really I don't want to use the card I guess just research station, draw free. Yeah. Maybe I can get myself out of out of jail. I could have drawn worse. Could have drawn worse. He was going Highlander anyways, but I'm curious to see what's um I don't know. I have no idea how much he puts in here, or how much he doesn't put in. I have no clue. Yeah. We can count ourselves pretty unlucky this game. There's just nothing we can do about it. It's just, it just is what it is. That's the way it goes. Uh. <laughs> Even that short. Uh You can't put your dreadnought in. I mean, let's say we've done. I don't feel like we've done anything wrong. We've just had ridiculous draw, and that's just how it goes. Occasionally, you get these games. Occasionally, you get these games. So it's just like, whatever.
It's a shame. But, you know, there's absolutely nothing you can do about those. Unless it's Allied Armada specifically. Very unlikely. You just grab spiritual and... You can grab spiritual Nixian. I guess that's the only thing I can still do. Couple of spice. Uh, we grab that. Let's grab that. I have. Uh, wow. I need to work this out. You can actually throw it in here. I mean, you got nothing to lose, right? Nothing to lose, so what the hell? Yeah. Fair enough. We have a fourth point, everyone. Rejoice. <laughs> we have a fourth point somehow. <laughs> Reinforcements uh, has basically meant Ilbarn probably wins the match. What are you going to do? All of that for a point. an intrigue. You're all right. That does nothing for us. I think I was meant to trash as well because of disposal, but yeah. We have a bit of a weird spot here. Um, obviously, we can expedite, but I can't expedite with ring, I don't think, and also get hold of... Hmm. I might be able to, actually. We we need to basically ship, and we need to get to wealth. And we can actually score a couple of points. Um, am I ever going Bene Gesserit here? I don't think so. I don't think I need to either. So I think we go... I don't know what I'm doing here. Experimentation with the... I guess I can just trash this out. Um, Go up, I guess. Trash that out. Draw a load of cards. Maybe make something happen. Might as well use it. Um, but there's, a, there's, there's something we can do. Like, maybe... Um, so we're going to go up. So we definitely, we draw the two. Scrap that, that. Grab that. It's not the worst thing in the world. So we need to get to wealth, which gets us to eight. And then we cash in the shipping because the 14. Uh... Wait, why do I need two hits of money? Oh, for Choam shares and my ring. 
7 plus 7 is 14, that's why. Unfortunately, I don't think we've got any way of getting the Talaxu point other than getting lucky. So. It's just that the Beast had no, ang had no combat to beat us, by the way. That's pretty insane. I guess he's winching. He just dumped it all in. Yeah, let's see. We are, we are way behind. Um... We need the game to go another round, I guess. Beast doesn't really have anything else to do with his bumps here. So. Yeah, you just go up. But yeah, I don't think there's a way to get a Talaxi point here. Um, unless the game goes another round, basically. No steel suits manufacturers. Very sad. One, two, three, five, six. There's nowhere to get hike uh, to get spice must flow. Jeepers, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can't even get minimic and uh, get it that way. Just completely short. Ah. Uh. So yeah, so we go to wealth. Um, do I go secrets? No one's going to wealth here, right? I think we might as well just go secrets at this point. Oh no, I need wealth. Uh, oh, I've got to think here carefully. Uh, but what I play... I suppose I'd have to play Expedite, right? Wealth, then se Secrets and Wealth, I guess. I, I, I got nothing else to do. Maybe I can find something crazy. That does not help. That is doing nothing for us. Um, cash. I mean, well, at least we're going to get to, like, seven points, which looks vaguely respectable. I guess. The problem is, yeah, like, me being beast and being that expensive, like, I've basically just dragged him down with me, really. At this point. Yeah, ill barn with the alliance still. I guess he's hoping to get to wealth, but he's, he's not going to. Not yet. Ugh. Thank God. I was about to say, you got no reason to go there. Um, where do we take the bump for Signet Ring? Bene Gesserit, I guess. There's always just more secrets. Maybe selective breeding next round. I think I have access to it. I don't really know. As if we see it, which we might not. But who knows? Everyone's got... Oh, no. I've got two alliances. Um, Red somehow has no alliance. No. What's all that? No. Tezzy is the only one without an alliance, and she's the faction person. So that is... Um, that's pretty, pretty bad. But yeah, we just go wealth here and just cash a load of stuff in. Uh, there's a red arrow, but you need to take off your stuff as well. There's a 
there. Well, there's nowhere else you can go, so. All <laughs> oh, right, I see. Okay. Um. So let's just grab this. Uh. Have I got any interest in like grabbing Mentat next round? I don't think so. That also helps us, allow us to get Disguise Bureaucrat. So at the worst, we can at least cycle that for a new Intrigue. Assuming we find some research next round. It looks like there is going to be another round here. Seems very hard to see how Ilbarn wins this, so... He sacked off the Emperor point, which is where I was going. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah, not much for him to do here. I think he was very much expecting to get there. If we can find research, then that looks all right. Uh, is there any point grabbing Chome shares? I actually don't think we play Chome shares right now. There's there's no need. Like, we can't finish the game. And if the game finishes, it doesn't matter anyway. So... I'm gonna keep hold of that for now. Keep him guessing. I'd only play Chrome if I'm sure the game is going to end. It's very likely not going to. This is going to be a, a long old match, this. I guess the time is good. It's giving me a chance to try to get back into this somehow. Very hard to see how we actually manage it. But, you know, miracles miracles can happen. She'll grab Minimic, I guess. Or Spaceport. Whichever one, I suppose. Whatever, uh, whatever you prefer. Can we buy anything from the row? Might buy a liaison. Just, you never know. Two persuasion cards or two persuasion cards. Yeah, Diplo. I think it was Diplo to Wealth was his intended move. He didn't play Scientific Breakthrough. What? Oh, he couldn't get there anyways. He had to use uh, experimentation. That's why. <sighs> we need we need a lot of things. So, uh, there's uh, Tezia's uh, Talaxi point donated. We need a tech. Right, I forgot I got I forgot I got mixing engineer. What's the one thing I don't have with this hand? Counter access. Oh yeah. <laughs> Absolutely none. If we can get our research, um, I guess we're probably obligated to go for um, Siege. Siege of Steel Suits, Weeding Way Research Station, and then Prey. I guess. Is that two Spice Must Flows? Wow. Well, the game can't end. So I guess that's good. 
So she's going to be at nine. She has Holtzman ready, though. So that's, that's all well and good. Unless uh, B says anything. Are they really going to tie? Surely they're not going to tie. Oh, but Beast didn't play against us? Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh, what is happening here in this game? Oh, Beast. There's a tie. What the heck? We're going, we're going 10 rounds. This isn't ending next round, I don't think, either. What is happening here? Unbelievable. This is a ridiculous match. Uh, the only way we have any chance of winning is it goes 10 rounds. <laughs> what is happening? It's just green. <laughs> yes, this is ridiculous. Oh, green had uh, strategic push. Okay, thank God for that. <laughs> I was like, surely this is not a tie. Okay. So, green's up to 7 plus 2. Economic. Economic would sound about right. So, yeah, I think that's the only thing we can do is go Siege. Uh, Siege Research. Um, and work it out from there. I don't think there is anything else for us to do here. Uh, it gets us the Talaxu point. There's worlds I get the Spice Must Flow. We just need Council Access. It also gives us a redraw on Disguised. <coughs> we got Churm Shares in the back pocket. And we just need to find access to to, to tech negotiations somehow. I, I have no idea how we take that. But I guess we'll see. This has been a bizarre game. There are worlds. This goes 10 rounds. Well, it's a good thing I hadn't set up to take, to take the Mentat. Tessie literally just found that, by the way. Literally just found that. So yeah, see, it's Siege, right? Like, what else do we do? Siege. We have second wave, so we can just poke our nose in. You know, if anything absurd here. Yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be Siege with us. There's nothing else to do. Subject is also in the row. Is there any way? Any way to like get anything out of subject? I don't know. I have no idea. This probably is the last round. It's hard to see how whoever does them in the combat scores a point somewhere. Eelbarn's got Emperor. Uh, Tezia will, will get the the stuff. That's all we can do. Um, I mean, Chow Murky's got to carry us. And carry us so hard. So hard. Okay, so Ilbarn's got economic positioning. So he's at nine. It's the only reason he took cash there, right? Oh, he paid it for the Talaxi point. Okay, that's also fine. There's the high line. So, it's last round. Almost certainly. We just have to go research and just close our eyes. There's, there's nothing else for us to do here. 
Like, we have been victim of some horrendous card draw. So, I, I don't feel bad at this point. Like, we've done everything we possibly could have done. Uh, we go down for... Don't want to get the spice. I, I'm Chow Murky. I'm Chow Murky. It doesn't matter. Um... Pretty sick, isn't it? Well, here we go. Basically, we just gotta hope that we find a way to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't have enough for spice. Don't have enough for spice. Oh, we would actually. Ooh, wow. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, this this has been a, a brutal game. So, if we somehow get to ten, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. Yeah, I know. I have no idea how far it actually gets us, but yeah, I know. Well, we're going to get there, so that's nice. Uh, we'll see if we find anything interesting with Disguised first. So, um, this is a spice, recycle that. I mean, actually, actually, there is value with that. That's not completely useless. It's not completely useless. You get one more intrigue. Assuming someone else doesn't pinch it. How on earth have we clambered our way to 10 points? Oh, that's that's not a good sign. Wow. I feel like he's just got corner and he's just going to shut his eyes. Do we even get to 10? 8, 9, 10, yeah, 10. I have no idea how we've clambered our way to 10 victory points. I haven't a clue. But we have. So I guess that's nice. It's not going to... Obviously, it doesn't matter. Like, the game... We, we're not winning this. But we were never winning this match. Like, we, we... This game was, like, lost, like, four rounds in. Maybe we're not lost. <laughs> I don't know what end games could help us. Plans within plans is a point. Um, I think it's just plans. Um, oh, the the Talaxu free spice was a point as well, I guess. So there's a couple intrigues that score us. Nah, we, it doesn't matter. Like we won't win this game. We've we, we've never attempted to win this game. This this game was. I was never trying to win. We just gotta hope that we we don't we don't end finish last. Tessie Avernus scoring four spice was flows is absurd. Yeah, it's fine. We're just fighting for second anyway, so we know that. <laughs> okay, sure, whatever. So, couple of spice. We get Ixian Engineer. Uh, we get that, and we get that. Uh, grab that. Oh, it went anyways. No, nothing to do. Cool. Alright. 
Is it no spice? I don't know. Don't know. It doesn't matter. Well, we got to ten. That's all we could do. Um, we got ten of Chow Murky. Um, I don't actually think. I think we're still last. Um, but there was nothing we could do this game. We got shafted by a lot of card draw. Um, which is a shame because our deck was actually not bad. But it just drew so bizarrely. You know, you just get crippled. So, whatever. So, cheers to the company, kids. I appreciate it. It's been good to, to play some games, I guess. Um, we'll, uh, you know, we'll work it out from whatever else. But, yeah. Um, there's nothing else we can do here. We, we did everything. So, uh, green wins. Uh, we finished last, almost certainly. So, actually, no, that's a lie. I might be, might it beat all barn. Actually, I think we beat all barn on Chow Murky. So, I think we finished third. Ill barn can't score two points. So, that's nice. If we, I, I got nothing. Like, it, it, it beast is one. It's beast, Tezia, I'm finished third. And, Red, red is fork, I think. I don't think Red can score two from that. I got nothing. So. Cool. Take care, kids. <laughs> uh, yeah. Did what we could. I'm not unhappy. We played all right. Take care, kids. Seven. Thanks for your company. And uh, obviously, a, a contractual plug for uh, Imperium Cup. As you would expect. So, yeah. Take care, so see you soon.